Hello everyone, this is my Yuri, or Yuri, depending on which part of the internet you're following me from. And uh, welcome to the uh, Train Sim World uh, CSX Heavy Hall um, timetable loading and uh, console command tips and tricks stream. And let me just fire up uh, TSW in the background and just make sure that's actually capturing. Is it? Yes. All right. Um, so what I have done is as of last night, I knew about this command since the dev build came out. There was a command for called ts2.dbg, uh, and I'll show it right here on screen. Again, please watch in high quality, otherwise you're not going to see this, because I'll show a better version. It's ts2.dbg.load timetable, not load autosave. There. And so you're thinking, well, what, that means you can load other timetables. Most people would say, well, Yuri, that's pretty useless. Every route just has a single timetable, right? And for most of the routes, you would be completely right. However, Heavy Hole is a special case, as it was the first route that ever came out um, as for, you know, Train Sim World. So it has a lot of timetables left over in another folder from development. Um, and in fact, I'm going to pull those up right now. So what you're going to see here, this is in U model which um, showcases all the all the files for the game from the content folder. So we're going to go to content, and you'll see down here there's a timetables folder. So in here, and I'm double checking that the stream is live. It looks like the stream is in fact live. I'm going to just double check. That I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I don't get sidetracked like I did with the Oakville one. Um, I do also I just want to look at this. I do. Okay, there we go. It's working. Great. Um, so what this is, I, I do want to put this out. Put this out there. Do not expect decent frame rates during the stream. It's not the point of it. And simply put, with some of the things that we're going to be doing in this stream. It isn't physically possible for me to get sometimes even up to 15 FPS. You're going to be seeing stuff and you're going to see a lot of stutters. You're going to hear crackling audio a great deal. Not so much on Heavy Hall, but if we go to any other route where I show some of this stuff, you will hear crackling audio throughout the entire stream. There's nothing I can do about this. I've spent a lot of time on it. Be prepared for choppiness, frame rates, and just possibly a single crash if I mistype something of TSW. But that shouldn't happen. I've been practicing all last night. All right. So what we have here is I have been talking with a few people, specifically Durflow, Lewis T64. I think I got that right. Uh, Digital Draftsman and um, who else? Someone else I cannot for the life of me remember their name. Um, a few others. Who, whose names I can't remember at this point in time, um, about how to manipulate uh, junctions. And I had a stream, which is I took down because it was very all over the place, and I'll put up a new one soon to showcase how to figure out where signals are so you can map them out if you want, as well as... Um, so what we're going to do is, what this command does... Let's just get back on topic. What this command does ts2.dbg.load table, and you'll see that I have a little thing right here. So I'll just showcase the last command that I really put in. You'll see that, and I stumbled on this by accident last night by looking through the dev builds console log, which showcases this, and I can actually pull that up in just a moment just to demonstrate what I'm talking about, because um, it's, it's very important for this. So. This is a log, and granted, I will say this right now, I am doing this stream on the dev build. Most of what I'm going to show you in this stream is entirely possible on the retail build with the U UE4 Universal Console Unlocker. Look it up on Google. It's right there. It shows you how to install it. It's brain dead simple to use. Just, you know, also make sure that you let it through your antivirus because certain things like Bitdefender and AVG go completely insane when they see it. But, so... I was looking through, and I'm going to just hit the word timetable. So we get down here, and we're going to see something screaming about something else that we don't need. 
don't know why it's doing that. Uh, demo two. All right, so here we go. I was looking through and I found this launch argument, which was launch arguments for reproduction. This is when you go to service mode. Um, timetable equals sand patch grade, timetable sand patch demo two. Now sand patch demo two is the base timetable. That is the timetable that everyone who's ever played Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall, the retail version, has. That is the base service mode that everyone has driven like a million times. And then you'll see it lists a service name here. Now granted, sometimes it would also say player start, which would indicate, you know, a location here, such as, you know, uh, Rockwood or, you know, a bunch of different things. It, there's a lot of different arguments that you would see there. So by figuring out what that command was through sheer luck, I have been able to, in Game Hunt, just put up a new video. The view is cropped slightly. Is it? Display capture properties. Uh, oh, I th let me go to transform. Fit to screen. There we go. That's a good. Ca oh, that was a screw up on my part then. Oh, I should have been using the other capture. That's why. That's that's a mistake on my part. Thank you, thank you, folks, for catching that. That was a thing so I could zoom in on the console. Um. Okay, so. What I've given you the basic gist of this command. So what you see here is we're pointing in U model to sand, the sand patch grade folder, the timetables folder, and then to this timetable. So I've already loaded it, and I'm going to unpause this in a moment, and show it off. This is timetable one 14 Cumberland Busy Yard. Now everyone knows what it looks like when you load into service mode. Normally, you would see you know an AC forty four hundred right about there and like maybe an SD40 there and another SD40. You'd see about three locomotives in this in this pit. Maybe I think about three. You'd see, you know, one here, one here, and one there. You're gonna notice there's a lot more locomotives here right now. This is a timetable that uh, except for Muff who's kind of mef messed with this stuff several months ago. Except for him, no one else outside of Dovetail Games has ever seen this. You you guys are seeing this stuff for the first time ever. Um, so this is, and you'll notice the run speed is different, I've adjusted that. If you're running around and you're trying to map out signals, or if you're trying to do anything where you're trying to determine the inner workings of train symbol and you need to get around very fast, uh, always use a command like this, I'll show it. ts2.dvg.max run speed, and do something around like 1200. You can do like 80,000, but the fat, when you get to a certain speed, eventually you can't control yourself, and you will outrun the game's loading speed. It doesn't matter how fast... It doesn't matter if you have a top-of-the-line everything on your computer with an SSD from NASA. At a certain time, your run speed will outdo how fast TSW can load the asset. So be careful when you do that. However, unlike the deb debug camera and the dev build, doing this is not incredibly in unstable and won't crash your game. So you'll notice there's a lot of um, units around here. And again, there is a timetable that kind of gets re reactivates one of these scenarios um, that Muff has kind of worked on. It should be on trainsim.cz, I think it is. Maybe it's, I think it's trainsim.cz, yeah. But anyways, you'll see, you'll see this, and I'll show off a few other things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil this for a couple of you folks. There are a couple features I'm going to be showing off in this dev build that you will be seeing in Train Sim World 2 that basically I've witnessed earlier. They're very minor. They're nothing to, you know, write home about. But they are features that are very welcome. And I'm going to show those off right now. Um, so then we can get out of the way and showcase the exploring of the timetables. And then I can go into detail about each of these uh, console commands. So normally you would see the brake wheels would simply say, you know, either applied or released. On most, on the CSX heavy haul locomotives. It, would, it was just a simple single click. You clicked it once, the handbrake went on full, you clicked it again, it went off. As of, I'm trying to think of what DLC implemented this. Um, it wasn't Oakville, it was before that. Maybe it was Peninsula Corridor? I think as of Peninsula Corridor, they made uh, fully adjustable handbrakes. And this is you, some, a feature you will be getting in Train Sim World 2. 
So the 4400 did not allow you to do this before at all. Simply just wasn't possible. Now it, now it actually is. It's not a big thing, but it's, it demonstrates there's a little bit more realism for the, in, on the uh, General Electric's vacuum cleaner. I'm going to continue to call it that until Dovetail adjusts the sounds or until I port Nexos over. But I will show off, I think there, was there another bug with this? No, no, that was the only thing. Um, you also notice that there's animations on these steps, which were not there before. Those have been ported, so you'll be seeing those animations in TSW2. Um, and another one, and I don't remember if the Jeep 38-2 has it, but I know the SD40 has it. Okay, yeah, the Jeep 38-2 has not been modified in this dev build, because, and I can tell because the reverser is still sticking out. So the unit I need to go to uh, is our famous thing that everyone's driven like a hundred thousand times when they got heavy haul. This also has the new handbrake. Um, the Jeep 3-2 and the Jeep 4-2 do not work. Uh, or do not have well they work but they do not have this 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 new function um why i don't know i need to open up my phone again because i might just lost whatever was on the restream chat thank you so much andrew oh there we go um oh yes the wabtech dyson suckmaster 5000 yeah so that is a little feature you're going to get and you'll also notice you know we have the the nice little stair animations but i do want to show off there's another thing it's not a groundbreaking thing, but it shows that Dovetail at least is trying to do something for revamping. Uh, I never thought I'd be using this dev build to predict TSW2. You can now insert and remove the reverser handle. This only works for some strange reason on the YN3B version of the SD40-2. Also, the doors are incredibly buggy and only close like on the if you click on like their hinge. Um. The YN2 version, which is not spawning in for some reason, um, doesn't have that uh, reverser feature. I've tried it. Also, the frame rates are bad. Believe me, I I tried yesterday. I I could not even if I even see. I'm even in in view mode unlit, which is the full bright mode, and the frame rate doesn't get any better. It just has to do with how this scenario works or this timetable. And you'll notice there's a lot of power here. A lot of power. What I'm planning to try and do is with this console command and with my free roam mod, which I know I've been talking about for the past month and a half, but it's been taking a while to write up this guide and idiot proof it basically because I want you guys to not get confused. If you have that free roam guide and you load up this timetable, you will have a lot of power that you can use to get out on the main line. You won't have a massive amount of cars, and there's different, you'll, there's concepts you'll never see in the real game otherwise, like, you know, quadruple headers. Um, and I will say, despite the fact that these are really, really old timetables, they are updated in such a way so that, you know, you'll see freight cars move in. Also, I want to put this out there. If anyone, for some reason, in this live stream has my blue coil car mod, remove it. Because it removes this black version. The black coil car and blue coil car are spawned separately. I messed that up, but that's a. Uh, but I digress. But anyways, yeah, you'll notice that I have cars from NEC and Heavy Hall, and if there's a covered hopper, it should also sub in from Oakville. And yeah, you'll notice even Oakville has subbed in, and you know, so I have tons of different freight cars, including. I was not expecting to see these here this time. Okay. Um, but all this will behave as it as it should. Um, ah, yes, Rank Western in TSW. Okay. So, what I'm going to demonstrate, I do want to say something right now. I stated earlier that in the launch parameters when TSW goes to load a timetable it also tells the game where you should spawn as a player due to the way these commands are and the fact that I don't have a development like the development tools from Dovetail I can't get the player to spawn where I want so when you load into a timetable one of the things you're going to need to learn 
And you can use this with uh, the following command. This is a, a thing for those of you who have the console enabler and are on, um, how, do, how do I put this? If you're on the retail build and you want to try and figure out how to jump to a tile, because the world is made out of tiles, so we're going to type in show debug. What show debug do, does is it shows the exact location where you are. And you'll notice in the top right corner, it's pretty hard to see. But you'll see a little thing that says in green, current tile zero, zero. Now there's like, you know, 1700 tiles across there. But whenever you feel like you want to be in a spot where you want to be on that timetable where you think the trains are, um, always just look for that tile. And then I'll just show this for example. We, you can use a command called jump to tile right here. And this helps you get around if the timetable spawns you like on the other side of the route from where the action is. So I'm gonna hit negative zero and zero and I'm gonna spawn over here. And this, you can do this anywhere on the route. Also, if you have Google Maps and you can find out where exactly you are on the route in the real world, you can put those two coordinates in with jump to lat long and just spawn anywhere that way. You may want to use the fly command or the um, ghost or uh, toggle debug command sometimes when you do that because sometimes your coordinates are correct but you'll fall through the game's world because of um, weird spawning. But I'm going to demonstrate loading up another one of these and we're going to show off very busy yard. Um, which is really what everyone came here because you want to see. And as far as I can tell, I did a little, uh, uh, this is how it was spelled, I think. Very, uh, I gotta look at how I wrote it. Very bussy yard. You have to have exact syntax with this stuff or it, um, it has issues. But anyways, we're gonna load up that timetable. And the game does look like it's crashed, but in reality it hasn't, it's actually loading. Um, and there are several other commands that I've uh, been able to get working. Uh, special thanks to Muff for finding a couple of these. Um, are those the F SFJ aggregate hoppers? Yes. Did you hex at it? In this particular case, no. There is a hex edit that I have made for Heavy Hall that fixes a signal at Yoder siding that was not used in the timetable, and as such, the signal doesn't work, uh, which I've restored that signal. It was one of the, uh, the actual siding at Yoder of the two signals that protected it, one of them just didn't work, because they had a duplicate ID. Um... So I fixed that, but most of this is all done just through the console. This is not done with hex editing. This is just hours of digging through logs, running around the map, and looking at the data that I currently have in front of me to figure out what's what. Yeah, those aggregate hoppers are, um, they have the Amtrak reskin, which I put out, I want to say, back in April. And it should be on the Train Sim Corner, which is a, a Google Sites website, and you can find them there under the URI tab. Because um, they'll go with the Amtrak MP15 reskin. Um, you're going to be prepared to do a lot of loading, because I can tell you, granted, I don't have the greatest setup for this. I'm running TSW through an external hard drive USB. But... These timetables, no matter how little data is on them or how much there is, take a very long time to load. Sometimes up, up, upwards of four minutes. Um, uh, I'm trying to think about this. There's a... Um, yeah, thanks to Muff. So there's another command, and it's one that was really helpful for those of you. If you want to make s cinematics and music videos, and you really want to take some deeply unique shots, or you want to figure out how Dovetail made the, like, early trailers for CSX Heavy Hall, there is a command, which I will show off later, called Slow-Mo, which allows you to either speed up or slow down the game, smoothly, I might add, uh, for a bit greater cinematic effect. Or you can just freeze time with it, too, you know. There's that. 
Um, and there will be a fair number of commands. We're gonna we're gonna explore um, some serious commands. We're gonna explore a few commands that are rather silly, uh, but do exist. And I do have this. This is on the Discord. I will link this text file after the stream is done and it becomes a video. Um, I'll put in the comments of this. Uh, right here this console commands list this is every single console command from the dev build which works there's only like three commands in this that like don't work with like the retail build that are like the disable spad disable failing when you spad disable failing when you derail and the disable junction derail option from the menu that i've never once adjusted because i enjoy derailing far too much um, so you'll notice we have spawned absolutely in the wrong spot. This is because because we didn't set up a spawn point in the console command. TSW has taken a look at any one of the walking points that you get from service mode and has thrown them all into a racket, basically, and randomized one and pulled one out of a hat. And that's why we are in Mance, even though we should be in Cumberland. So to, get do, to remedy that, we're going to go and we're going to hit load tiles 00. zero. Um, and again, I, I want to make this very clear. If you're someone who's really new to this, you've never used the console editor, but you really want to do some of this stuff and you really think you're getting in over your head, please ask for help. But also try to really, I'm going to try and get out as much documentation. That's why I'm making videos like this. Try to really pay attention to exactly the information that's being given to you so that you can follow this. But it's also one of those things where I do want to state that if you, does the disable junk, disable derail command not function in the retail build? Nope, I've, I've, I've placed it in the console in the retail build and the disable uh, spad commands and it says it's not, a, it's not a recognized command by the game engine. Um, which is unfortunate because all the debug commands work, but uh, but also I just want to reiterate: if you're someone that's really not tech savvy, don't try to get into modding this stuff or digging through things the way I am. If you really have no idea what you're doing, try to get help first. It's one of those things where the last thing I want to do is see people, you know, really. We are, should be free falling right now if I. I'm correct. There we are. Out of the sky. Why it spawns me there, I have no idea. You can ask Dovetail that over a nice cup of tea. But this is the, the timetable that I was very interested in. This is very busy yard. It says very busy in capital letters. So you can tell they're serious. Um, so I'm going to run over here so you can just see. Just There's a reason the frame rate's tanking right now. It's trying to load, you know, about... 12,000 things right now. Parachute sim world, yeah. Um, it's trying to load a lot of assets right now. Like, you can see they're here. Like, you'll, no, don't, well, most of the stalls, well, except for the actual stalls, most of the roundhouse is taken up. And then, granted, all this stuff I've shown over here in the yard, you've already seen. Um, and that is actually the only stuff on the route, though, which is kind of unfortunate. But I think they took these for the promotional images, because I'm pretty sure I matched up a bunch of these vehicle placements. Again, sometimes it takes a bit for these, these assets to load in. You're going to see them pop in now. But the frame rate will drop into the single digits while this is happening. But see, now you'll have the biggest roster of power you'll, you'll ever see. You can already see... I can already feel my PC crying. Yeah, so now you have a ton of power to mess around with. Again, this load debug command, I'm going to try it on the Steam build in a minute or later to confirm that it is actually working. As far as I know, it should. I don't see a single reason why it shouldn't um, work on the retail build. Um... Um, and I know I should have tested that beforehand, but, you know, I only have so much time on my hands. Um, and this one does support the Jeep 40, as you can tell. 
the Jeep 40 will sub in as well as the Jeep 40's cars, the Oakville stuff, and you'll see you have a ton of power here. Hold on, wait, does the Jeep 40 have the weird handbrake thing? No, it has the stupid one. Um, and there's just, there's just a lot of power. Now, I'm going to show off a scenario or two that you wouldn't... I'm trying to find this really quick. We're going to show off a, a, a time tail or two that's rather uncommon. Uh, approaching Hindman. Uh, Cumberland Station, which I think is a coal train. Uh, what was the one that I was going to test? One moment. Rockwood Bridge. Alright, we're going to... Uh, take that command. Copy the beginning of that timetable. Remove this one. And luckily, I think I actually remember where the spawn is for Rockwood. Um, well, we'll know. I can just teleport. I think it's called new service. What do I put into UUU? Do you see the select um, pro select application box? Select train sim world when it's running. However, only do this when you're at the locomotive selection menu or you're already in the game world. Don't do it while you're at the press any key to start menu. Do it in a spot where you're in the, you can see the 3D world. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. You're going to click it, you're going to select the application, you're going to hit the inject DLL button. And then you're going to wait 20 seconds and then you should get some stuff in the top left corner that tells you the console is enabled. Um, again, you're going to be waiting through load screens a lot when you do this. So I'm going to show off probably one more of these timetables and then what we're going to do is I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going to do it, I'm going to pick a route that's useful to us. And we are going to uh, what we're going to do is I'll showcase a bunch of these console commands that are actually quite useful. Um, so you'll notice we've spawned at sand batch which is not really where I need to be at all. I think it was called New Service. Jump to Service. New Service. Which should work. Alright, so now you'll notice uh, a scenario that never ever you will see happen in Train Sim World outside of this time tale. Again, these timetables that you're seeing, no one else except for me and like Muff have like, and Dovetail Games themselves have seen these. This is brand new stuff for some of you. It's taken three years to get these files loaded, but I think it's 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 worth it now that we can do it. Um, and you know, some of them there isn't a lot happening. You know, there's usually testing one or two things. There isn't like a whole new time tail. I can tell you this. I don't remember which file it is. It's either called Sandpatch Demo or Sandpatch Timetable 2017. One of those two timetables is the one that you folks who played the Heavy Hull beta um, will be familiar with, where there was like three trains. 
spawns me in the air every time. But now you'll actually be able to see what's going on. It's taking 30 seconds. I gotta wait for the train to load. It should be passing me right now. There we go. You, this is the first time ever you will ever actually see an AI enter Rockwood Mine. You can, in Powering America, you leave Rock, you can build, you float up a train at Rockwood Mine, and then you depart. You never enter Rockwood Mine. In service mode, you have a simple little service that you load up three hoppers at Rockwood Mine, drive them down to Rockwood, drop them off on the siding, and back up into the Y. This particular uh, test. It's very weird. I'm pretty sure it was used only for a cinematic. Or it was used by the creative team and it was it, I couldn't find any proof of it in the trailers. Uh, we're gonna get on the other side of this just, just for the sake of um, showcasing this. Why, uh... Walk. Again, the flying ghost commands, which should allow you to do some basic not no clip but fly without having to use the 8 camera when you're on foot. The flying ghost commands don't work in the retail build. It says they do. The game acknowledges that you've done them, but they don't do anything. So I just want to, if anyone tries to do this in the retail build, that those two commands don't work, and I genuinely don't know why. Is there any commands to get the game to output all the services currently on the route? Um... Do you mean to have them all spawn at once, or just to keep a list of them? Uh, yeah, and then this is where the AI drops out. Not sure why, it just does. Just dries out right here. And then I'm gonna showcase this. I've already showcased this before, but considering the original signal stream went down, I showed it in Oakville, but I'll just show this again. I have a big signal guide, which explains, um, uh, was it Excel? Excel 2007, because I can't afford Office 365 because I'm not paying $75 million. But I'll show this off. This is the other thing that I have made a list. Um, I can give you a list using the console, um, using like the, the log from the dev build, but otherwise I don't know of anything uh, like on screen list that shows all the services currently in the world. I would like to say that there is one, but I don't know if there's a command for it at this time. Alright, as long as Excel has loaded, I can show this off for you guys. I don't want to... Uh, Alright, so... What you're going to see here, I spent a m pretty much like... I don't know, most of a month. Granted, that's not every single day, but most of a month mapping out every single signal that is important. The, the ones that are inside the buffers at like the turntable tracks. Or like stub settings where you clearly have no reason to like get a... There's no reason to, for me to search for those signals. I don't even know the IDs. But every signal that you will actually... Every pathway that you will encounter as a human being where there's a chance you can spad, I have given you every single signal on this route, which, if I remember correctly, is... 145, 142 signals. This is what your guide will be. These are the IDs you'll enter in on the console. This is kind of a gist of where they are um, and you also notice where's the one from Yoder that I fixed right here this one has been fixed with a mod and then this signal has been restored um, so for example we're, we're here at Rockwood and we are at Rockwood westbound track 1 next to the stub siding so we're at 2267-1 so we're going to go to the signal and it's got multiple paths up, up ahead. Let's just do, we're gonna call up a signal. TS2.signals. Dot. Set route. 
2267-1, Route 0. Or Route 1. Or Route 2. It has routes 0, 1, and 2. So it's got three routes. Because there's a passing siding, which I'll show down here. This signal allows you to get to this passing siding right here, which you can actually run trains on. Now, granted, I want to warn you right around where this other dwarf signal is, like right where this point is, um, fly over here. Because otherwise, um, you're going to run into the... You've reached the uh, end of the represented, representable National Geographic story area. Um, so now what we're going to do is... I could show off another timetable. Let me look at... See if there was any other ones that were really interesting. Summit, Sandpatch, Epic Range Shop. But that was an AI train. Um... Uh, there we go. Let's see. Either MP test or test run MP. Ben test. Okay. There we go. Copy packet. This is a, a strange one because it's at an actual service for service mode, but it doesn't actually. It doesn't work properly. There's there's a bug with it that prevents you from completing it without using a signal manipulation. Um, guide. Again, this guide is coming out soon. I'm trying to get it done. I The thing is, I'm trying to make a video to explain this in detail that is different from this live stream. That um, you guys, It should be going up on Stephen Jam's channel because he has more subscribers and it, 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 there'll be better reach of that mod if it goes up on his channel rather than mine. I might put out my own little tiny trailer showcasing it as well, but um, the signal manipulation mod is going to be specifically will only be available for Oakville and ha Sandpatch Grade. Mapping out signals on all the other routes, I would love to do it, but it takes a ex very long time to map some of these out. And by the t if I tried to get all those routes done by now, TSW two would already be out by the time I get my work done of all those US before I even get like another three routes done. I am trying to map some out. Um, SF, uh, Peninsula Corridor is on my list. Someone asked me about Tease Valley, but I'm not really interested right now. Even with the Class 20. Um, Great Western Express in, in Main Spessart Bond and Rurse Ignored are not really interesting to me because there is a massive number of signals. West Somerset I'm working on mapping out. Um, basically, I've written up the heavy hull guide and read me and everything. I'm just writing up some tips and tricks for Oakville for getting around the world so that you don't get kicked back to the menu all the time because of the weird kill barriers that have been placed uh, around the route, specifically in Hamilton and at Oakville itself. Or generally anywhere. You would have a beard and a copy of TSW4, probably. A month. That's some much appreciated dedication. Thank, uh, thanks. Um, yeah, it has been. Well, it's taken a month and a half for between um, between Sandpatch and Oakville. Um, this time I wanted to spawn in, and I am. Let me guess. I'm nowhere near where I, I have to be. At Yoder, don't I? Where is Yoder? Actually, now I have no idea where the test train is. Uh, maybe it's might might the test might have been here in Cumberland. No. Oh, I think I know where it is. 
think it happens at like Heinemann. Go up the route. I think it's up here. I might have loaded the wrong timetable. Yep. We're going to pause real quick and double check what his uh, service name is. Um, so I can teleport to him. I think it's called new service underscore one, but I want to make sure. Uh, GWE signals are pretty easy. There's little if none unnamed signals. Only hard thing is guessing if there's an underscore or not. When signal mapping, how do you know the name of the destination of each route from the signal? Do you just make an educated guess, or does the game list the destination somewhere? Um, I make educated guesses. I, I, I've, uh, in my Heavy Hulk guide, I've listed a set number of routes for each signal. Here's how, the thing is, Originally, I would actually type in each signal manually and see what signal I could touch it to. So instead of doing this route zero thing, like I'll, I'll give an example of what I used to do on the on the console here, just, just to, to explain this. So I would do a command like this, which is insanity, except then I would do like 2267-1 to like 226... 2290 and I would do things like that to try and map it out and it was a nightmare because I sometimes I would miss routes entirely um, and I had to do it that way otherwise I'd have to do zero so I would normally just guess and check I'd start at like zero and then do one two three four five six seven eight until the signals didn't change anymore um, the the number of routes knowing listing the actual location like for places that you wouldn't know like i'll show this for example on the oakville list because some of you are thinking well how the heck would i know this and this is thanks to you know maps like bing maps and google maps um how would you know what some of these industries are procore general electric bway you know hood pack it's because i looked up these industries of what what they actually were on google maps and i put them in they could have been something you know 10 different 10 years ago but this is what they are for the sake of it um and oakville's are signals are mostly labeled it's just all the um the dwarf signals and searchlight signals that are on, on in yards and stuff that are all unlabeled also the portal signals are completely broken um the no to know the name of the destination there really isn't a way it's really just guess and check and like there is a thing where the track many of the tracks you'll notice this on like Long Island Rail or Oakville you'll notice with this when you're digging through the track tiles for routes if you go to the bottom of the, the the file you'll see the listings for for example like Jamaica track three hillside yard track two uh you know Industrial sector N, tank car yard, track number 14 or something for oh, for things like that. But you can't, those, those titles mean literally nothing to anyone unless you're in the scenario editor uh, on Dovetail's end. Otherwise, it's really just all guesswork. That's why it's taken me so long to do this. Because at a certain point, you're just kind of bashing your head against, you know... All right, so we want to see that AI train in action. Um, I actually really do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload the timetable, but I'm going to look at what the name of his service was. Service. If I could spell the word service right. Uh... Those are achievements. I don't care. I don't need to know about the achievements. I don't care. Uh, the service name equals none. Uh, that's not the words I wanted to hear. Service Ben Ex... What? Service Ben Express. <laughs> oh, wow. This was, I don't know who Ben was. But, uh... He's given me a, a laugh today. I did not see that service name when I was looking through this last night. I, but this now you can see how the services work. They go by instructions. Like for example, TS2 services started instructions zero, and then it'll say 
you know complete instruction one or two or you know it'll it'll it does a whole bunch of stuff uh, you can also see the inefficiency on heavy haul and granted this transfers over to every other American route I've seen where there's an electrical relay cabinet around the route and it screams that it needs a sound engine to play it all the time or the dumpster for some reason has a blueprint and there's always something that it needs to have there's a the dumpster has a sound apparently and I don't know why but it tries to play all the time also another thing you'll say you'll see this this latitude longitude right here that says unnamed portal won't be findable by name that's the portal at Rockwood why Dovetail didn't give it a name I don't know um I genuinely okay so the Ben Express teleport to the Ben Express that did nothing is it Ben underscore Express that might have crashed the game yep it did all right there's there's another fun learning lesson never type in a service name wrong when you are in service mode and use the jump to service command if you type even a single number wrong rather than the game just you know having the console the command go through and having nothing happen the game just completely crashes so don't don't ever um i'm guessing it could be ben laws he was is one of the tsw devs maybe this timetable was his idea he was in some of the early promo videos i see Extreme sports manipulating the signals while on a train at 60 miles an hour. Oh, God. So, yeah, it probably is. Uh, there was someone who had a... There was some name in one of the route tiles. I don't... It might have been Ben. Somewhere on Heavy Hall. Um, also, this is the really neat very clean loading screen you get instead of the DTG logo when you um, I might port that over as a mod for the community if you want to get rid of the DTG logo um, for your load screen and then I have my uh, garbage post that I made as a joke this is actually out on discord it's not out anywhere else but this was uh, this I made this for a couple people um, I've kept it running because I just couldn't be arsed to remove the pack file, so I just skip it now. Um, we're gonna go to... I'm trying to think of a good spot to show off some of the things I need to show off. Actually, if I hit last played, I think we have a perfect opportunity. Yes, cat girl maids. There was a couple people that played on the Train Sim Community Discord that played Nico Para, and I decided to make a stupid menu load screen, which I thought no one was going to like, but then there was like five people that were like, can we please have that? Um, and I've regretted that choice, and that is a big, uh, the biggest regret of my entire life is making that. Well, that and investing in Oakville. That that was a pretty terrible move on my part. I'm interested to see how the set path route command works. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to go back to Heavy Hall to do that, because actually, we might not need to if I can think about how the stations work on Oakville. The stupid thing is... The way the station names work doesn't make like a, a lick of sense for like the set path route command because it doesn't want to have any spaces in the words because of syntax because of the way computer syntax is and I, that makes sense. But the problem is all of the track names for stations are defined with spaces in them in the track tile. So I'm I'm trying to figure out like where I'm trying to find the the entity 
that determines what it, what a state what is a station in the game's files, and I don't know what it is right now. Okay, so we we're this is a great time to actually show this off. As we are hurtling towards death, I need to be wary of what that signal is. Again, I know the frame rate's bad, so I'm gonna fix one thing for you folks. By the way, I know it says that when you hit Control F2 that it disables the. Uh... I heard Oakville was useful as a wooden bomb shelter. Uh, I'm not sure. This is part of a free roam scenario I've made that is part of Hamilton Explorer where I've been running local operations up and down Oakville. And it's been rewarding. Uh, so there's a wild card character instead of a space in the internal naming structure. It seems that way. Because if I read out like the track names, it would be like Bront Station Track 2. But there would be space in between all those words. And Notepad++ indicates it's an actual space. Not some weird character. That's the thing that's even more confusing. But if I try to type in that exact word, Bront, tra Bront Station Track 2, as the beginning of the set path route command, it just won't work. So what I'm going to show off is another useful command, specifically if you want to make cinematics, but we have to make sure that we don't derail first, because I'm on the verge of death. This is why I'm slowing down, because you actually will derail at this 30 physically can't survive it. I was here for the offlane version of this with GA Railfin. Yeah. That was a... Oh, I just realized that signal is supposed to be illuminated. Um... 373S Route 1. There. See? Extreme sports, routing signals of 114 miles an hour. It's a little bit faster. But I also wanted to show this. I know it says that it turns the motion blur off when you hit Control F2. If you're on the dev build, that's an absolute lie. That doesn't work. Um, at all. Um, I also want to sh and uh, so there's a command to make the motion blur less sick. Show flag dot motion blur zero. There, that will permanently disable motion blur. And I would like to show that the the god awful Doppler. Yeah, um, I would like to show that this is not in the retail build, and some of you would be angry about this. I know you would, because I am. If you were to go to the advanced options, you'll notice there's a motion blur toggle in the menu, which doesn't do anything, by the way. But you don't have this on your regular PC build that you paid money for. But it's in the, it's in the dev build, and I'm not sure why. I, I, would, I would have thought they would have ported that, that little function over, but for some reason they didn't. I don't, again, I am completely unsure as to why. Also, I've done some fixes on some of these signals at Oakville where the dispatcher could throw them, but you couldn't. Now you can. Um, but I'm going to show off, if I can fly ahead fast enough, one of the unique commands. And this does affect sound, but it looks really cool if you time it right. This is going to be called slow-mo. It's literally the word slow-mo, but not the way you would think. Type in S-L-O-M-O -O, 0 0.5. You'll notice the game's... Let's try, drop that down to 0 0.1. Slow motion. You can now enjoy the game at a tenth of the speed for slow cinematics. You want to do nice sweeping views. You want to do things where you have a deep zooming in or deep scrolling. Now you know how Dovetail did some of their videos. Is that just the developer build? Yes, but most of these commands will work in the retail build. There's only like three that don't. Unlike. There's only like three de three or four dev build commands that don't work in the retail build. And again, I don't know why. They were just removed. For example, also, I can slow-mo... So, for example, slow-mo zero. 
game is frozen in time. Can't do a thing. Now, slow-mo 1 returns us to normal speed. Now, if I put in a decimal, like 0.5, game slows down, 0.1, even slower, or if I want to go even deeper, I could go 001. Or go back up one, you know. But if I went to two, now the game will run at double the speed. Which is just as terrifying as you would think. But this is really useful if you want to get some really nice cinematics for any music video or anything that you want to do with Train Simmer and you want to get really great effects. Use the slow-mo command. Special thanks to Muff for figuring this out. I think he said it was already listed on the console enabler page. I don't care. The fact is he told it to me. Why stop at 2? I've tried 80,000, but I don't... Um, uh, so, what, so what is the command slow-mo? Slow-mo, there you go. Buzz, we missed the yard league. We're not aiming for the yard league. Why well, stop it too? I tried 80,000 once to make a time lapse of Long Island Railroad and it didn't do much. But we can try 100. That is doing things to the game. The alerter, the alerter, catch me. Yes. But well, we have time to reflect on our mistakes now, folks. But now I can showcase some other commands. Um... Oh no, I do have to put in an emergency. Let me look through the list of commands that I have available, because there are some useful ones as well. Um, that is the log file. I don't need that right now. I need this. Also, I the frame rate is going to be terrible. We are... Please never make that noise again, train symbol. Please stop. Oh my god. Which one is warning devices? Oh, thank goodness that's off. I can't seem to zoom. Oh, there we go. Well, we'll wait some time. So now I'll show off some other commands. We're going to go through our little list here. There's a ton of commands here. And again, I'll try and give a link to this. Uh, let's look at on screen. Uh, there's, you know, there's max run speed, max fly speed, max walk. You can load timetable. You can load an autosave if the game has made one. Global rail adhesion is very useful. This is... I know uh, Dovetail Games has said that there is no adhesion thing in, in TSW. That, that's, a, that's not true. There is, but it's a very, it's the most basic form. So global rail adhesion is always set at one, which means the, you're pr the train's pretty sticky to the rails. I'll show this off, and I'm going to look through a couple more commands. Yeah, there's one for Panagraph here. I haven't figured out what that is, because I think it depends on each locomotive. Um, max Acceleration. There's a couple other things that people haven't already fixed. Boom Camera Doppler Effect, which I don't even... I know that was a bug back in the day. I don't... I think it's been fixed. Uh, dirty dis Force Dirty Dispatcher Dependencies Force Dispatcher Class... Um, force yard manager class. Let's see, let me take a look at a couple other things. Uh, and, uh, Matt Pedelson actually himself said this on a stream about two months ago, that there is a command that allows you to spawn in AI trains. 
What he meant is if you advance the timetable enough, like by changing the time of day, and then enter this command called TS2DBG enable AI driver spawning. All of the AI trains, usually in portals or currently on the route, will try to move around. Trains that were in should be coming out of portals will now come out. Um, uh, derail distance threshold. Never mess with that. But anyways, you'll notice that you know we're rolling backwards. Now I'm gonna notch up. So I'm gonna stop the train. And you'll notice that now we're moving. Now, if I move this global rail adhesion to zero, and I hit zero, you're going to notice something. We literally now have zero adhesion. We are gliding on ice. There is not an ounce of traction. This is what the game will let you do. This is useful if you really want to give yourself a serious challenge climbing like Sand Patch. Or main specer pod. So then if I set it back to one, You'll notice the game does that. But, uh, let, let, for example, let's set it to, like, 0... 0 0.5. Now we're going to notch up, and we will move. However, we're not going to have the same grip that we thought we had. It might take a bit more power for us to get moving. But in theory, this is the simple way. Slow-mo works in normal version. Yeah, I had a feeling. Um, but see, now you have traction, and you do have wheel slip. But uh, you have that. There's also another command. Someone said that there was wheel sparks, and it's very hard to trigger. Um, there's a command for that. So when you're doing wheel slip, you can... TS2.DVG, I think it was force... Wheel sparks? Force wheel sparks enabled. No, I do not want to quit the game. I'd like to stay in this part of my perpetual hell. TS2 force wheel sparks enabled. One. Now. As long as we have wheel slip, we should, in theory, see the wheels sparking. I think it depends on each locomotive, but in th that is the main idea. I don't know if every locomotive works with it. Um, Set this back to one. But the fact of the matter is, it's there. You can do it on certain locomotives. A um, couple other useful commands are jump to service, jump to rail vehicle, and jump to latitude longitude. Really useful if you're trying to get around. There's log the AI status, which writes some more data to the log file. Um, there's a thing for completing a scenario right here, if you for some reason want to do that. You can complete journeys, object, you know. I don't know if some of these work in the retail build, and again, be careful because you don't want to, you know, mess up, you know, your Dovetail Live account. So do this on a secondary thing and test it before you do anything. Um, camera boom clearance, booms max length, the return speed and return weight of the boom camera. There's a lot of stuff to mess with the boom camera over here. Um, there's a lot of stuff. You can create your own autosave with this command, ts2.dvg.autosave. Um, AI set drivable, I've been trying to figure out what that does. I haven't been able to get it to do anything yet. AI target velocity, again, nothing. Allow dispatcher, enter yard requests. That allows the, if you're coming off the main line, you're trying to get into a yard and that the junctions are already locked, this allows you to... I haven't tested it, but in theory it should allow the dispatcher to talk to the TS2 yard manager AI to request entering. Um, allowed yard manager 
to enter dispatch network request, which basically means if the dispatchers lock you in a yard and you would like to leave that yard, but the dispatcher has those switches locked, this is a way to kind of put in a request. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of variables about motion sway. So if you want to make your motion sway even more, you know, nauseating than it might be for some people, you can do that here. You can also disable it from here. Uh, max, axle max heat energy, haven't been able to get that to, haven't tested that. Um, wait a sec, toggle light, I gotta check this. I feel like this is just toggle light. Wait, what did that do? Nothing. Okay, then that's a UE4 command. Um, there's a couple more before we really get into more of the nitty gritty. Time of day. Uh, the draw the location, draw the moon position, draw the sun position, time speed override. Um, there are some for weather, which is what we're going to do right now. Because this is really helpful. The camera sway should have been sliders in the options bin. You really should have. It doesn't seem to break the DTG live stuff. It just acts like you actually complete the scenario. Yeah. The commands all work in the retail build. Yep. Thank you for testing these for me, Didi. The weather ones are great. Yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate those for the people who haven't seen them. Um, you can also notice... Why are the free-to-play objective markers like... They're... I don't... Oh, wait, I set my adhesion wrong, didn't I? I think the independent wasn't working on this on this Jeep 9. I don't remember why. So now I can show off the weather. Also, this command can be gotten rid of with the brake key. All right, so now we're going to set some weather effects. So, TS2 dot, I think it was DBG dot set. Here we go. Uh, let's set, uh, for example, precipitation. Let's set it to 1. Here you go, rain. What about set train speed? Set train speed, I'm glad you brought that command up. I have checked ts2.dbg.set train speed. As far as I know, I have not been able to get it to do anything. I genuinely don't know what it lets you do. I would love to let you, I would love to think that you could set a value and your train suddenly jumps to that speed, but I don't think it does. I'll take a look in the log while we're playing today and I'll see if I can get you a little bit more information on that. So now we have precipitation, and then if I use a decimal, say 0 0.3, drizzle. Or negative 1, which is not really smart, but use 0. Uh, I want to set, for example, um, let's set the cloudiness to 1. There, now you have clouds. Instead of having to go back to, and you can don't set these, these values are, are basically between 0 and 1, but you, 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 they support decimals. So, you know, don't think you can do cloudiness 8 hours and make a black sky. Um, set ground snow. 1, here. You now you have Oak Trickville. You want to set the wind speed? You can do that too. Which is really helpful if you have the Oakville Mastery thing. By the way, folks, if you're having issues with Mastery and you don't want to have to do all of it and you would like to use the Mastery that's on the East Coastway in Oakville that hasn't been unlocked yet, you can go download Muff's Mod to unlock all of the dioramas and uh, little Mastery bonuses over on trainsim.cz. If you want to feel rewarding, you don't have to do that, but I personally use it because I spend most of my time modding, not driving every service across the entire route, so it's useful for me. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, it's set. Uh, yeah, it's set train speed. I still have no idea what that does. Uh, it's set wind strength. Like, let's set it to 10. Now you have, well, this is as blizzard conditions as you can get in, in, in Oakville, or it, it won't let you go any 
the wind also the farther you get away for some reason just kind of it takes a while to render also i'm considering working on a bell mod for those crossing gates i can't stand the sound of them it's nauseating i'm trying to find a, a canadian flag from the uh the mastery thing to demonstrate to you folks I gotta fly back to the locomotive. I'll show you what this does. So I set wind speed. Um, also, I don't want to. I, I I I cannot stress this enough. Be careful when you set the wind speed or the wind strength. Um, when you are um on heavy haul and you're near Salisbury Junction, because if you know those um. You know those giant um, wind turbines? They are directly affected by the uh, by the thing, by the wind, and uh, they can, I've gotten them up to some the speed of light almost. So here we go, because I have this master the diorama set up. Here's your here. This is what the mastery on Oakville would have given you for diorama. Here is your waving flags. Which, when you set the wind strength to zero, do this. I wish they didn't do this. But, T where is the ts2.dvg.setEditor command? I wish there was one. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't all have... Ma can I, what if I set this to 100? There you go. That's the, ma the max wind speed you're going to get is like 10. We could just disable stuff like this. And, uh, if I remember this, you can set the angle of the wind, too. I've never tried it. I've tried it once. I don't remember what it does. Uh, set world date and time. This is a pretty important one. This is, the really, just, this is, abs like, you need this. Um, and I need to pull it up on my phone so that I'm not showcasing Discord. Although I can just close this thingy real quick. Uh, hold on. Oh, I can just do this. All right, there we go. Uh, stand by, I am pulling up a, a command that will help us in our journeys into the sun. Oh, I'm also in a voice channel on Discord that has no one in it, so. It was in the TSW modding channel. There's a time of day command. I just need to look it up. Because I I don't have... The syntax is very specific and I don't want to have to do guess and check. Or we're going to be here all day. There we go. And this works for set local day and time. This is, uh, here we go. Did I close Discord out completely? There. Welcome back, folks. All right, so I have this command right here. So this is the syntax you're going to put. Uh, for example, 2020.04.02 dash, and then the time. So that's going to be the year, period. The two digits of the month, period. The two digits of the day, a dash. The first two numbers of the hour of the day, then the minutes of the day, then the seconds of the day. You have to do it in the syntax. If you mess the syntax up at all, it's just good. nothing will happen. We were going to justice. Now we have changed to different time. Well, I thought we did. That was world day and time. Which adjusts it, but then the local date and time takes over. So now we're going to adjust to local date and time. Set world date and time. There. Now you'll notice the actual in-game time has changed. I wonder if TSW could make a Union Pacific AC4400 CW livery, or maybe BNSF or Norfolk Southern. There is a Norfolk Southern one already. There is a BNSF or Norfolk Southern liveries for the AC4400 in TSW 2020, 
They are uh, made by Nexo, Sizoth, and Nickhawk, respectively. The swoosh is made by Nexo. Original BNSF is made by Sizoth, and Nickhawk made the Norfolk Southern one. None of those three schemes are, work, are for TSW2 yet. I am personally going to talk with these authors, and I'm going to try and port these mods over so that you just can put the pack file in in your TSW2 build and use those reskins. Uh, there was a person working on the Union Pacific one. Uh, I think it was Camo Guy 54321 He abandoned his, and I don't even have his project file. So, you know, I'd love to see if he still has his project, and I can maybe work on it, but there is no Union Pacific one right now. Unfortunately, so we can adjust the time to just whatever and I just want to make this incredibly clear Because I okay 95 is not a valid okay 20 there So I want to make I do TSW on PS4. Oh, I see yeah You're gonna to have to use the livery editor then which is gonna take a long 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 time But with enough tweaking you might be able to make a UP one all I can say to you is good luck Now, I want to make this excruciatingly clear when you adjust this time of day. If you are in service mode, you need to be aware that when you change the time of day, you are changing the schedule for every single train relying on that clock. So if you change it from, 50, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., all of the trains between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., are going to start moving at the same time. Meaning you, in some cases, will have gridlock. So be very careful when you do this. Now there's a set Greenwich Mean Time thing that D uh, Digital Draftsman has been so gracefully, graciously tested for me that should, in theory, change the time of day without changing the actual TS2 simulation, node, max, acceleration, anything? Uh, I could try that, but let me let me just make this... Let me try this, the, I think it was the, the GMT command. Set GMT offset. 20. No idea what that did. 200? That changed the Greenwich Mean Time to 9... What? Hold on. 2,000. 9-11 What? 2 Oh, it's Greenwich Oh It adjusts the time of day depending on GMT It determines basically where you are in the world That's what I thought, okay Um It helps with adjusting for a time of day. I could do an Amtrak AC4400, Canadian National, Canadian Pacific one. There is a Canadian National one, but again, it's PC only. I would love to port it over for you guys, but unfortunately, uh, that's out of my hands. Literally. Also, I know Muff said he's working on his more upgrading all U.S. trains and U.S. routes thing. Hopefully, we can utilize... I'm making. I am working on a Go Transit reskin for the MP36PH-3 and the bi-level car, so you should be able to run Go Transit service th from Hamilton all the way up to Oakville if if he's able to pull it off. But the formations have been giving him a lot of trouble. Stick with him, off. I know you got this, bud. Um, a couple other commands. Let me go look at that uh, command that you brought up. Uh, you, uh, okay. I think override FPS. Also, there's a thing that shows how many sound channels are being uh, used at the same time. So when people tell you that, uh, There's stat sound waves. There's eight different waves. There are seven sound channels being used right now. Then it goes up to 11. Would you like to see how many sound channels get used when you move the Jeep? Uh, 
This is what people mean when they say that you run out of sound channels. We're already up to in the 20s. If I had freight cars, we'd be at 32 sound channels maxed out. This is the command stat sound waves, and it should work in the retail build as well. It also tells you exactly which wave file is playing, which is helpful if you're trying to figure out what sounds are playing on a locomotive when you're making custom sounds. So I want to make this clear. clear. So for people like Itzio 165 that's been working on the Class 166 sound mod, use this command buckaroo. This tells you what's playing where, how, and when. Just for anyone making sounds, believe me, it's why this air brake doesn't work, I don't know. I didn't cut out the air brakes. They just... Uh, there were a couple commands that you guys just gave me in the chat, which was, have you looked into the request enter dispatch network command? Uh... back I have to deal with the family real quick. stat sound waves. Um, there's a command you guys put in the chat and I'm trying to find it now. I gotta scroll up. The request enter dispatch network command. I'm gonna have to go in service mode now. It's the hour different from GMT. Canada's always behind GMT. That's correct. Simulation node max. There we go. Okay. TS2 dot simulation node Max acceleration. I have no idea what this command does. I've never tried it. What is the value that is normally set at? 10,000? Ten, what if I put it at zero? Wait, what? TS2 dot simulation node max acceleration is read only. It's hard coded. It's protected by some file inside the pack or inside the game that I can't write. Because let me try to give it like a command to like 10. Oh, that's why it's grayed out, because it's screen only. Okay, so there was that command. Let me see if there was a little one farther up if you guys wanted me to test it. It's set train speed. Uh, TS2, EBG, Rail Vehicle Physics Enable. This crashed my game. What value did you set it? Uh, there's also Simple Physics, um, which I can turn on, which is what the AI uses. Simple... I think it was DBG? Simple... Thank you. 
There we go. Tier 2. Oh, rail vehicle. Rail vehicle mass multiplier. Uh huh. I don't know if I want to mess with that. Might make vehicles incredibly heavy. Uh, physics enabled. Physics enabled 2. Alright, well, let's set it to 1. Maybe it affects us now. to be. Oh, I might have to disable regular physics. Hold on. Okay, I set the physics to zero and this happened. Oh, it disables the physics entirely. What if I hit it at one? The game is incredibly, it, the game is down to four frames a second right now. That knocked out the locomotives. ahead. Putting it back to one correct. The air trim fizzed off and stopped the train. I It just killed my locomotive. We'll be able to watch the whole stream today. Got going like five minutes. Well, thank you, DJ Wolf, for uh, tuning in. All right, so now, while we're running, we're going to set the physics back to one. This... Is Simugraph, I don't know what Simugraph is doing right now. But th th it, just, it just does this. If I got rid of simple physics, I think the AI would be done for. I kind of want to try that. I'm not going to timetable mode for Oakville. Uh, I get to stay for another, no, you get to stay for another hour. All right, let's see. I, mean, I could have gone out to my grandfather's, but, uh, what kind of horn was that? Uh, that is a custom horn. I believe it's online on YouTube. If you look up, uh, Oakville Horn and Bell mod, it's made by NGC427. He's the, also the same person that made this reskin for the, the Jeep 9 that's like a more classic scheme. Um, he has done both those. They've been out since like a week after Oakville came out. They're really nice. I, I've been using them since he released them because it gets rid of the default horns and it gives the Jeep 38-2 an actual e-bell. Okay, so we're going to dig through a couple more commands. Again, this is a stream for educating you and a little bit of educating me sometimes. Really, it's one of those things where when you do these, these uh, commands, you really just need to look around and see what sticks. Set world location. I don't even know what that would do. Show coupler distance. I need to see what this does. 
because I thought I used this before, but I don't think I did. Does it need to have a value? The other three units really are dead. I'll have to restart them. Uh, who would test that value again? Show coupler distance was it a variable of two? It must be something to do with when you're coupling. Ancillaries. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Route map ancillaries. Could this be data for the route map? Like additional data? Nope. I don't know what that did, but it hasn't done anything useful. Um, there's also a check to skip the first tutorial, stat, stat physics. And I will also show this, I showed it in the last Oakville stream. Dovetail has disabled the lightning and it's only available in one service in Oakville. I don't remember what that service is, but if you would like to summon lightning from anywhere and then cause thunder to happen, then just do that. Request and dispatch that were maybe wonder from the way to get the game to accept the route you've set and move AI around it. Hmm. We might have to go test that. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm trying to think of a spot where I can test that. I think X592. I'm trying to just think of it. I gotta go look at something really quick. Also, for those who have seen it, I know most of you haven't, but for those who are on Discord, I know there's a, I'm working on Class 20 stuff. The mapping for, I'm trying to get the, the window seals to not be black and be yellow, and that is, uh, they, I don't know. About what time was that in game? So fourteen twenty. Why doesn't this work on GWE? TSW load timetable WW underscore timetable. Because WW underscore timetable is not a file. It'd be called GW, uh, let me, it's called DMU underscore timetable, actually. I'm glad you brought that up. If you want to load the timetable, uh, unless it's, that's Muff's timetable or something, but let me take a look at this. The regular timetable for, uh, Paddington Redding or GWE as we all, as we call it, um, content, uh, scenarios, service mode, 
DM, you have PR underscore service timetable and you have DMU underscore timetable. And then also, for extra fun, you can load the Xbox timetable. I, ex I loaded it the other night. Can you not apply a color grade map to the whole class 20 main texture, then see where the window frame is mapped to on the texture? I can. WW underscore timetable is the Westworld scenario, I think. Well, you're typing the syntax incorrect. I'll show you what you would type in if you want to load the Westworld timetable. All right. Uh, also, the console and Xbox One timetables are here. Really, really, really exciting. Can you, can you hear my excitement? That, that was me being excited. Here's what you're going to do. This is why it's not working for you. You're going to go to this kind of name. So if I go and granted I need to be in a world because otherwise we're going to have this HUD and I don't want to have that happen because it's going to involve restarting the entire game. But let's go to Great Western Express. And I think it was Henley on the... What's the route that has Henley on the Thames? Where is that? Twyford? Yeah, let's go to Twyford. Um, yeah. You need to type it in in a very specific folder format and UModel helps you out with this. Um, you can always, if you want to figure out the path to a file, and again, you want to get rid of the word f content in it. So like, this is what you're seeing here. This is the final path that I have. This is the one that you're going to type in when you when you use the command. So your command is going to look, if you're going to load Westworld's timetable, and again, I haven't tested scenario timetables, but in theory, this, com this is what your command should look like right here. What you're going to get when you go to UModel uh, is uh, I would go here and I'd go to the asset and I'd right click on it and hit copy package path. So then I would hit down and I would paste and it would look like this. So to clean it up, I would get rid of the .u asset at the end. I'd get rid of the word content here because even though that's a folder, the game doesn't want it, doesn't read that out when it reads a path. It knows it's there, but it's not going to read it out because it makes it clunky. Henley on Thames is a branch line on GW. Yes, and it actually has a signal called Henley that you can activate in the game. And I'm more than happy to show you. And it works, by the way. <laughs> and then see, you would clean it up. So you'd, get, you'd keep that slash, and then you'd clean up this. There. Now you have how you would write out the timetable. And again, that would go for everything. Again, for most of the new routes, it's going to be content. Um scenarios and then service mode if you're in the new ones like oakville and um i think hopestruck or ryan Ruhr, and i think maybe ryan Ruhr austin in east coast way it's going to be uh the route underscore gameplay folder content timetable and then right here and then there's the data tracks we don't need to worry about that and then you've got this is the formations for oakville which don't really make a lot of sense when I read them out loud. But anyways, here we are at Twyford, and we're gonna... That level of detail, please, no. Let's throw a signal, just for fun. And I will say this, the way in which you type out signals is very different for every single route. Please be aware of that... F I... Oh. All my useful commands are way up here. Okay, we gotta retype in a command. So we're gonna ignite this signal. Also, you'll see there's a lot of data about checking the doors on the AI. This is something that Train Sim World does when it is something that um, Northeast Corridor does as well. 
you don't see it happen as much on routes like um, Peninsula Corridor. It's much more clean code. But this is it checking the doors on every single service across the entire route, which is kind of inefficient when you're looking at it's all data that's being processed instantaneously, but if you're doing this all frame by frame, multiple times per frame, it does slow down performance. Um, TS2. Not significantly, though, but TS2.signals set route. What we're going to do is. T yes. Yes. There we go, my folks. T1369. Oh, I didn't actually give a route. There you go. Now you can get to Henley on Thames. And I'll show what Henley on Thames actually looks like. Because most people think it goes off a little bit with some scenery. No. And then this was T1641. Can I put, can I do that, please, game? Can I just put that in? Yes. So this is what Henley on Thames looks like. This the, it's very detailed. Are there any accessible game files which list IDs for signals without IDs on them? Yes. And I'm going to show that. I was going to show that in a separate video, but I'll show that here just to get it out of the way so that I don't have to schedule another time because real life and my family and all that stuff does get in the way sometimes and it can be a bit and that's a signal. Um, but anyways, here's Henley on Thames. It's the most detailed part. It's beautiful. Most very breathtaking. In the fact that I probably... It, and, like, for example, here's a, a here's a very straightforward signal ID. Henley. There. And there's your portal. Literally, when the 166 clears right here, it'll disappear. Right, right about here. You can always tell it's a portal because it doesn't uh, adjust uh, gradient. It's always a straight thing. I believe the European ones are only like 1,600 meters long, but the American ones like 4,300 meters long. Um, in fact, if I were to turn off debug camera and hit 9, that Henley signal should... Is that technically visible? Yes, it is. Um, I'll show that right now. So, Emily on Thames is okay. So we got to go to a spot that doesn't have um, properly mapped uh, signal. So I need to stop and think about this really quick. I'm trying to think of a route to do this on because I've never done it on GWE because I don't know of any unmarked signal spots, really. If any of you can think of one real quick, I'd, be, I'd love to hear it. Um... TVL by Adams West. Okay. Luckily, I have TVL uh, pack file in my dev build folder, so we'll be good to go. Um, I will demonstrate. Once we get to a spot, I will show you exactly what to do. And this is, again, this is going to be a thing that you can do with both the dev build and the retail build. Most of the stuff I'm all showing here is stuff you can do. Doesn't matter if you don't have the dev build. And again, if you'd like the dev build, I have been meaning to get a video out for the past three months on how to do it. Otherwise, you can just um, contact me via YouTube. Or if you know me on Discord, you can do it there if you have a way of contact but YouTube comments are also useful because then I can give you like an email address or something to like help, help you get through the data uh, I love that the diorama hasn't loaded also this is the Oakville diorama folks so I've had this loaded since the dev build came out <laughs> or since Oakville came out excuse me um, timetable 
So we're going to Tease Valley. You said it's Allen's West. Timetable. Allen's West. Okay. We'll load up there. Now, granted, I didn't spawn at 23.55, so it would be five minutes before the dispatcher shuts off. But the fact that matters, we should still be able to map out most signals. And I'll show this out. So I'm going to pull up a very important tool. And again, I know I've been using regular notepad. I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you want to find signal IDs faster, with less of a headache, Use Notepad++, it is free. All the semaphores and ground signals west of the station are lacking IDs. All right. Well, I'm gonna show you this, cause, uh, Let's see. And you'll see these are like all tiles that I've been mapping out. Across Oakville, across Heavy Hall. This, these are all tiles I've had to extract that I have mapped out. What the heck is this? Oh, this is me trying to get the, 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 the text for the Class 20 to show up so that it says, like, Class 20 BL or, or GR instead of blue. Okay. So here we are. We're at Alan's Nightmare. My goodness. Could the level of... I would love it if the level of detail would finish loading. All right. Let's make sure this doesn't have an underscore. So we're going to... We're going to... Okay. Um... We're gonna play the safe, so let's try UN23. No dice. So let's try UN underscore 23. Probably under control of dispatcher right now, I think. Yep, because there's a train literally right there, so I'm an idiot. Allen's West. So the semaphores. Okay, it does have an underscore. Okay, yeah, I see that right now. I just see that it went live. All right, so one big thing to do is we're going to do a, a massive brain time right here. Max run speed of 12,000. This is a good normal can speed that's highly controllable with most regular mice, but lets you get around without. So, all right, so here we are. So a couple of signals that are uh, being a nuisance. So UN12, that looks like that works. So, all right, we're gonna map this one out. So what we're gonna do, to make sure that we are actually on the signal, this is very important. You want to stand not where the signal is, where the signal would be on the map in the track. So standing on that red light is exactly where I need to know so I can find out that I'm on the correct tile. So I'm gonna hit toggle debug camera or show debug if you're on. So we're gonna find out that it says TS. It's hard to see, um, but you'll see it says Darlington Saltburn map 
tiles, and then we're gonna see TSX negative four Y four. So what do we do? We go to U model, and we go to Darling Darlington Salt Burn, which is right here. Content map tiles, and then you see LT, which is all the lighting tiles, like baked lighting and all that stuff. That's why those are big. S is scenery tiles. Um, TS is track scenery, as far as I remember. Uh, and then we get down to TT, which is track tiles. So we're going to pull up what we were. We are at X negative 4, Y 4, which is right here. We're going to right click on this. We're going to hit save package. So now I'm going to type in, you know, I'll, I'll just show this for the sake of it. I'm going to go to my U model folder. And when you right click and use save packages, you'll notice that there's a different, um, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. At all. I wanted this. Oh, please, please go. There. U model. So U model saved. This is where saved assets. Basically, it pulls them out, but it doesn't uncook them. Um, and we're going to go to TS2 prototype, plugins, DLC. Darlington salt burn, content, map, tiles, and then we have these two. The UEXP file is what we want, so we're going to drag that over here. So now we're going to search for whatever the signal was that was next to us, which should be on the same tile, which it is. Alright, and we know that the signal next to us is UN12. So, what we're going to do here is now, now that we've actually triangulated this, we're going to sit here and look at the signal. Um, so, we're going to type in Control F, UN, and probably just like UN underscore. So, then we're going to double check for all of the signals around us. This is a, it's guess and check, but it helps you narrow it down if you already know an ID that is right next to what you're looking to for. Basically, if, the, sig if the, the signal you're looking for is in between two other signals, narrow down what milepost that might be. Otherwise, you have to look up an actual control point. Like, I had to look up an actual list of control points for Caltrain to figure out that. But see, we have UN underscore 23 underscore BR. What the hell? That is the strangest idea I've ever seen. Um, UN, and then we're gonna we're gonna try again. So UN underscore twelve, which as we know is what is right next to us. So now we're gonna think. Well, what's the what's the next signal that could possibly be? And we've got a UN twenty eight. So now we're gonna we're gonna think about. Okay, well, where would UN twenty eight be? Probably down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look a little ways down the line. Probably this is twenty eight. So let's try that out. I actually give it a night. Oh, I didn't give it a zero. Okay, so it's neither of those because that's the dispatcher, but it did illuminate something. Right up here, right here is 28, it looks like. We're gonna just double check that. You always want to guess and check this stuff. Hold on. Okay, see, and we've just mapped one out through checking. We've discovered UN underscore 28. That's what this one is right here at Allen's West. Um, I love this, how the semaphores work. I don't really see them operate much in game. But then you can map out and try and determine how many routes it has. Probably only three. Does it have more routes than that? No. There you go. So now you got a semaphore. So now we're going to start looking at... Um, we're we're going to keep searching because we have UN underscore selected. So we found UN underscore 28. Now we're finding UN underscore 23. And there was UN underscore 23 BR. So now we're thinking, well, what the hell does the BR mean? 
And the, the real question, I, uh, the real answer to that question is I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to give this a try. And we're going to see if it illuminates anything right nearby. And... Did it. Uh... Not exactly, no. Well, it did, but, but behind us. Hold on, where am I? There's only one behind us, but... Okay, the UN23BR, I don't know what that was, but I don't see it at all. So we're gonna ignore that, and we're gonna go to the next one. UN underscore 16. So now we're gonna give that a shot. Because we know we're close if we're at a 12. So now we're gonna look around and we're gonna think, well, is there any other signals that are not being held up by an AI train right now? Uh, there's probably some. Again, this is one of the reasons why you want to have the dispatcher be disabled, because otherwise you're gonna wind. There we go. We have UN 16 right here. Um, so we want to keep digging, but we know it's probably going to be a signal with UN in it. So we've got a UN underscore 30. So now we're thinking, well, okay, a, a little bit bigger number that's a farther away, so this might be it. There you go. It's a strange number, but there you go. Congratulations, right, you've received 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Banner, repeater, or British Rail. Yeah, banner, repeater, I think is what it is. But anyways, um, here you go. Here's ID 30. This is UN underscore 30. And the other one a little ways down was UN... I got to double check what I put in my console. Was UN underscore 28. But this is how you do it. You just guess and check. There may be without underscore for ground signals. Well, the banner repeater, I'm trying to think of where that would be. The banner repeater would be before uh, the signal, correct? If I'm correct. Oh, it's this. Oh, I'm I, I'm so terribly sorry. I thought. Oh, so it, there is a, a, technically a signal there, but it's got. Oh. Yes, before platform end. Okay. Well, I don't know if it physically can change. I think it can. I don't remember how to reset it to zero is the problem, though. Because I don't have a strange path to line it to. Let me... Actually, let me try something. You... Your wildlife... Well, regardless, it's, it just repeats the signal aspect ahead. Oh. So if I do... Oh! Oh, that's quite useful! It's driven by the signal at the other end of the platform. Yeah, that's a that's a cool thing. I, I, I have never really inspected these signals so much because I'm so concerned with driving. So let's take a look at how many routes we have available with UN underscore 30. We tested route zero. Every signal has a route zero. It's a, sig a, single, a signal on a single track heading into a portal has a route zero. That's the starting route for every single signal in the game. So let's try one. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta go UN30-0.
So you notice there's multiple routes for this. Um, because it controls up to the turnout up here. Does it? I think it controls into the yard up ahead for some reason. Why, I'm not sure. But we'll take a look at a couple more signals, because these, well, these are on different tiles, so we're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to look again. So we're going to double check in that immediate area if there's any other signals that are, you know, bleeding heartly important. There is one. Well, there's two, actually. Excuse me. And we're going to notice them. One's right here. This tiny little thing. So we know that we've looked through a UN30. So now we're going to look for, we have a UN underscore GF. And I think more than likely, I normally wouldn't bet money, but that this is this. It is. It allows you onto that stub track. Alright, so we're gonna blind that U28 again, we're gonna double check this guy's aspect. Just so I can see if I can get a better look at what he's actually producing. Well, I don't see an aspect change, but that is what that is. That's UN underscore GF. Um, so now we're gonna look around. Uh, and now we're going to notice that we might be on a different, uh... Oh, there was like another signal right here. This guy? This guy. And what might you be? Let's see, we got the banner repeater. UN underscore 12. UN underscore 28. 23. Uh, we would like to think that this is 16. I think 16 was farther up, though, for some reason. We'll give UN-16 another try. Nope, it's not that. UN-30, UNGF. So we're gonna double check that we're on a different, uh, we're on, still on the same type, because Tiles can change kind of drastically. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and we're going to notice that we we are. So the one thing we want to go check is that that other signal wasn't 16. Which would be this. Is this 16? Damn it. Okay, it seems like DTG might have made a mistake with the signal because I'm not finding that signal. Another helpful way to determine what a signal is, granted it only works in the dev build, is to blow a, blow a red signal and the game will tell you what signal you blew. Weird way of doing it, but it's helpful. Ground signal, so it'll be without an underscore. That's correct. So 
So we're going to look for one that doesn't have an underscore. And we're going to come up short for some reason. Uh, I'm setting up a I'm doing a little live stream for mapping out signals. How many rail fence and hell groups are there? Not a clue. before they got rid of We're looking at a natural locomotive. No. No, the... Okay, so let's not. see. That's not working. Actors in Canada. Looking at train top. Cool. A Wickham. A Wickham? Oh. Yeah. That's a, like a weird Wickham that I was talking about. It, uh, it said, does you and Pacific do have the SD uh, 59X? Yeah, they're nothing but rebuilds of the old SD 60 triclopses. Oh. Yeah. I saw, I saw a UP train comes through the Alexander yard in Alexander, Louisiana, over shopping. Yeah, let's go see. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Oh, you touched my troll. What are you guys from? Georgia. Georgia, yeah, CSX and Norfolk Southern. Yeah. There's one UM underscore 26, I think is what it is. Oh, by the way. Looks one. like it's a typo. I found... He's... Now, where did I put... Yeah, Draftsman, it was a typo. It is UM underscore 26, which means I'm going to have to put another signal mod at some point. Jesus Christ, man. It's like a never-ending process. You can't ever finish something. Well, it's, it, if people would stop making typos, I wouldn't have to do this. 
Route's only been out yeah, for, fine. oh, let me check my watch, a year. Well, that makes it tricky. Yeah, the thing is, you need you always got to look out for misspellings when you do signal hunts, for those who are in the stream. Always, always assume you're going to come across a signal that has a misspelling in it, and think outside the box, or always search random numbers that you think are close, because we looked between 30 and 28, and that wasn't working, so through 26. But that should be most of these signals. Uh, oh, that's wireframe mode. I don't want that. Okay, but if that's zero, then does one give it the routing? Well, whatever. Is this what you guys need to help with, or did you need more of our balance west? I don't mind looking for a few more. Oh, we have a couple more. We have to, we have to dig out a new tile, though. Uh, Toggledy bug camera. Where are we? We are at uh, x negative y four. Okay, package. They call me Mr. Boombastic. Oh my god, Big Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember that? Of course I remember Barnyard, man. But you, do you, you know, know the original, original person who sang that song? song? Yeah, it was Shaggy. I have the song saved on my uh, laptop. Alright, so we're gonna look around here. UN underscore 39, because we know we're in UN territory. United Nations Territory, located in Britain. Call me Mr. Boombastic. Call me Boombastic. Let's give that signal a try. Which one did that illuminate? Probably none. Oh, farther down the line. Is this thing? No, that's a red. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see what color it shines. Hey, son. It's, it's supposed, supposed to be a cat. Freaking R. <laughs> that slow motion. And it where well, it's signals semi truck out of great services scenarios will never have the typo notice. No, of course not. That's why Yoder Siding had a duplicate signal for the past three years. Because it wasn't using timetable mode. It was. What? The the NS accident. It was it's on YouTube. It's a meme on the internet. Oh what, the one that happened the two eleven that had the that happened the other day? No, the one the, the one where the, a slow moving NS train just rips apart a semi truck. Yeah, that's the one I mean. Oh, the really you, old one, you mean, that knocked on the crossing signal. Created a truck. Where'd you find that from? On the Facebook lightsaber? No, I found that on Facebook in the jointed rail community. Oh. Here you go. Oh. Wait. UN 37 is way down here. Why? That's 22. What? Pardon you're, my French. You're the, the, the gold bass trader. Oh, I know that. Oh, that's 37 over there. You get it now? Now I get it. it. Uh, yeah, that's what saying. It was like a dash. I think it was a or dash. dash. I think it was a dash. I don't know. I had to pull up the video. 
Oh, it's because mm -hmm. of the train being lined against it. Where is that in Georgia? I don't know when. I don't know. It, I don't know where that. I don't know where the incident was. I mean, I saw the TV show the on Spike TV. Oh yeah, destroyed in seconds. No. Most well, we're, 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 we're mapping these out, Draftsman. If you want to just take notes, because the stream will be a video after. I used to watch that show. Again, we'll, our, our, our signal commands will work the moment this thing clears. Go, go. I used to watch that show, the, the Rolls Wireless Police videos. It was on, the, on Spike TV and True TV. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be airing that. I don't know if they're ever going to redo that series. Well, Live PD was. There's 37. Well, Live PD he is gone. Yeah. Are they gone? And there's 39. Yeah, because of the protesting. So, Draftsman, this, oh. this crossover is 37 39 if you want to mess around with that. And then. It's amazing they go to the effort of putting all that signal only for a lot of it to never be used. Yeah. Did you see the, the train got hit by a, a semi trailer with the Union Pacific train? Uh, Intermodal no train came through. Draftsman, how much signaling Peninsula Corridor has. All of the light rail like, stuff. Those are all that on YouTube. Is, I tested every single one of those signals. They all work. All of switching, routing, all that stuff. Never gonna get news without an editor. Yo, Cole. Yeah. You seen that the, some kind of a calm pass train derailment is a big mess. Too. Let's try 36. Seems legit. You seen that? I've seen something like it. All right, here's 36. Yeah, it's a major mess, man. Right here. But the next one's gonna be 35. It's a major mess with the so-called oil spills and stuff. It, it was a no fuck concern in the San Pedro. Probably the Schneider. Was it a manifest or was it the Schneider? I don't know, like, uh... Uh, manifest or signer. UN underscore 14, where the heck is that? Yeah, I heard, you know, I heard about the... This is, yeah, you know, like a, a, a major derail. And it collapsed a uh, bridge high. And go. Oh, that's you. You and fourteen down there, isn't it? Let's go double check. Waste oh, of resources you... that could be used for QA. I remember, I remember something, something, but right, but right now, now I'm not thinking, thinking straight, straight at the moment because I'm still waking. Uh, no, it's not the. It's some kind of BLT. Yeah, it's still waking. I like. Uh, I want to know who in the UK thought numbering your signals out of order was a smart idea. There. These two are probably next. Uh... UN41, that's probably one of these, because it is... Yep. Wait, did you beat this, rebuild this in AC6000s? UN no. underscore 31. So, I think you know what this is. No, the, uh, uh, it's like a shiny old one with the AC6000. So, oh, the Wobtech thing that's no, new? The, the hybrid? I, I thought they were going hundred like they, they were. Well, no, they, yeah, 4300. Yeah, they're 4300. They're not at 6,000. Matter of fact, UPs never work. Oh, oh I, I didn't know there was a thing. Yeah, it says, got the AC 6,000. And at that, only three of them. 
Uh, there you go, Grassman. U N underscore thirty one. And then, and then the rest of with a uh, tier three, with a tier three Gbo, Gbo electronics and X and traction motor. See, they call them AC sixties for some, and others they call AC forty forty five AC or something like I, that. I didn't really know that, man. I'm not really an expert. Because very few. Look. And then it should throw these junctions here, right? So if I go four, there. But wait, that's not all. I mean, oh, I'm not really an expert until. Several days ago, I was talking about UP train with the old ES 4040s. Really, two ES 4040s. He's carrying out uh, some. I'm installing something right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw these two ES 44 UP locomotives. They were kind of mixed right. They were just carrying some of the gondolas with a no fuck thunder. The town it has a soda. Oh. Yeah. These two. Train or carrying a uh, short mix freight with the serving cars, boss cars, and hopper cars. Right. Some of the I assume you, you don't have access to the single map, but the real single map for you there's so many singles are incorrectly named the DTT's version. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I mean, some of these singles you wouldn't know unless you were an actual signal. I get that. Uh, I've mapped out pretty much every signal for you, so is there anything else you. any other places you want me to try and map out on the stream? Hey, a, a UP train carries short team. It's, in, it's a UP SD4 in bridge, and, and I've seen it before. Plays. No problem. I can't really for my dad or something. Remember, if you ever forget them, you can always just go back to my stream. Saltburn. All right. Well, I think I'm going the right way for Saltburn. Let's head on over there. But before I do, let's go explore a little spot that I don't think you'd be able to get to. The Forbidden Zone. You are entering the lack of quality control zone. Their AWS ramps all the way out here. Hello. X 
access to the portals. Access to and from the portals, excuse me. I guess LG must mean some important location. But there's her portal. to at least give it a shot. Let me just run down to Saltburn at the speed of light. Let me turn the lighting off, though. Did that have an ID? It did. What about you? Okay. They're all labeled, yet... Long Island Railroad and American Railroad struggle with this, especially... Also, I know you were talking about this draftman. Most of the dwarf signals on Oakville don't exist in real life. The ones that protect all the sidings are like anti-AI, I think. Maybe a few do. Wait, did that not have text? Did that not have an ounce of text on it? Oh, it's got one of those. This is the correct way, Draftsman, to salt burn, right? PPG added them to make the AI work. I, that's what it would seem like, because I did some Google Maps, and it doesn't really look like this. Some of those signals are, are just hand throw. They might have a CTC switch, but I don't think they have a signal protecting them out. Maybe they do. Maybe they do and I just didn't see it, but I don't think every single one of those sightings has it. I could be wrong, though. Alright, I'm heading to Saltburn. Wait, am I heading towards a portal? No, let's go explore that portal real quick. I've never done that. This is going to crash the game, isn't it? Yep. Well... That happens when you use the debug cam too much. Luckily, the retail build ha doesn't have that issue. That's a dev build issue. Okay. And then we're going to have like 14 more uh, tiles to... Oh, that crash. go. Stupid shit post title. I don't know why it freezes so much in that menu. Let's go. Let's go to Cheese Valley. Salt burn.
right, let's get this started. So the train is dispatched by radio or follows the timetable and they wait for their slot according to the timetable. Yeah, a lot of stuff is radio controlled in North America. Yeah, basically. I mean, I've seen kind of how we dispatch here. It's, it is like a point and click system a lot of times for actual dispatching, but it all determines, you know, how. It depends on the railroad. Some don't even have dispatchers, like uh, some little museum runs the dispatcher, no, like the conductor, but... and it's just all hand throws and track warrants. America is mostly track warrant, well, it's signals and track warrants for most of America. Six people watching, my god. How long have I been streaming? Two hours, 34 minutes. Probably will be like a three hour stream. Later I will show the set path route though. But we'll have to go to Heavy Hall for it. Because I need a station with a single platform. Salt burn. Feel a sea salt already. I gotta keep alt tabbing like that. Let the turn motion blur off so I don't get sick. I don't have motion. Send something on the internet. Going for record link. Oh no, I think my longest live stream on YouTube was like 10 and over 10 hours for run 8 dispatching session. Three hours, I was away from the computer, but it counts. Okay, we are at Salt Bum. This old track ripped up the salt burn, which I would put stuff on if I had the editor, just because I can. Run speed 12,000. What variables does request enter dispatch network want? Let's take a look. This is a short one, then. Well, most of my streams are around this time nowadays, close to three hours, but some have been pretty short. Okay, uh, let's go take a look at that command you're saying. Allow. Because it's a request one. Wait, how long is the relinquish prompt wait time? 120 seconds. You have to wait two minutes when you get rid of a ser when you leave a service for it to ask you. TS2.dispatcher or TS2.dbg uh, It doesn't seem to have a variable
not sure what it would what it would allow for. I think I'd have to be in a player train for it to do what it would need. Okay, so let's look at what we're, we're at. L211, L212. So we're going to look at the 200s. Uh, what tile are we at? We are now in the geographical location of hell. X twenty one Y negative three. Hey, uh, I got something you need to hear. Okay. Uh, Woody is currently taking part on a TSW debate live on Alan Thompson as we speak. Well, Woody from Searchlight. I yeah. Well, is it interesting? Well, for, you, for our mutual Long Island Railroad friend to mention this to me, it must be important. Cool. Must be for the service you're in control, then yeah, I'll have to try it later. Uh, well, let's try this tile. Let's try a 21. Uh, oh, I think I found one already. L underscore two town. What the? What signal did that illuminate? Oh. Well, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Of course, I forgot. There's a portal. Uh. What's the next one gonna be? Two eleven. I think it's right next to me, but I want to give it a shot. Yeah, that's that. And the other one was, what, I think 212? Yeah, so... so let's try L underscore and just see what we find. L underscore 209. It's probably what I'm standing on. It's no. Uh, what? This game mean no. Train coming? No. Let's see if there's another signal I'm missing. That's 209. Don't tell me the game's gonna crash. That's 210. Alright, let's look at the next signal. Oh, L207. That it has no underscore now, so... If you 
the center route was locked by AI. Does the center route automatically once AI is passed? I believe so. If you do it while yeah. the train is passing over it. Okay, L2. Okay, it was L207 and that did literally nothing. Oh, because I put an underscore. Oh, that does light up that one over there. So if you want to take screenshots of those drafts, I'm going to leave these up for you if you want to map them out. That's 209 that I just eliminated. And that's 211 and 212 for salt burn. No problem. Uh, 209 and 210 are the signals here at the portal. Um, cheers, mate. Alright, so if that's 207. The next one's gonna be what? L2. Be another world tile. Let's take a look at where I am. Am I geographically on another tile? I am. I have 21Y3. Oh, wait, wait. What? Oh, 20. 20. See, there, that's what, it'll trip you up sometimes if two tiles are too close together. Save packages. Uh, go to the UEXP. Type in L2. L215. That's got to be a ways out. There we go. The other end of salt burn. Okay, it's that little bugger. All right. Then we got L208, which should be back over here. Yep, right there. Probably L206 over here. Yep. Probably right next one's L205. How did I guess? Yes. That's some of the sightings of salt burn. I think there's only a, a couple. There's two more signals I got to take care of around here. I don't think they have under. Maybe they have underscore though. Let's double check. Yeah, they would. L underscore. L underscore two hundred and thirteen. <laughs> Is, I have no idea where the hell that one is. Oh, I didn't put an underscore. Okay, there's 213. Are they labeled? They are. <laughs> Let's make sure 14 works. Let's see, that 
see all those signals. Logical numbers from GTG, logical GTG. <laughs> Well, how do you think I, how do you think I feel if people ask me to do the Baker thing? I know we have the scenario editor, but... What was the other place you said? Drink, drink. Place. I think, well actually I'll show you what the set path route command is on CSX and then we can go to some, well it's not really an editor, quick drive plus, true, but it does let me crowd up heavy hull and make it an absolute nightmare. I mean, believe me, I'm just as ticked that we're not getting a scenario editor. The fact that S Sam had to literally tell us, well, none of the original DLCs were designed with a scenario editor in mind in means that all mind. that future proofing that they did like putting all like heavy hall has two portals that never get used one at the end of the rockwood mine branch and one at viaduct junction on in outside of cumberland that goes to the mountain sub neither of those portals will ever be used but they're set up there's a passing siding at the other end of rockwood but the only person who's ever used it is me Most of the sightings on Oakville you can't access without my mod. Just hundreds of signals on the NEC you can't have, you can't, I would have to dig up that are literally useless because they're disconnected like New Jersey Transit and stuff. Also, there, it, the, also NEC and Long Island River are supposed to be the same route. I've looked at the files. NEC, Long and Railroad alias is tons of NEC assets. Like, they were supposed, they're literally alias files that each route, both routes require to, and what they're named like NYF or N NRN, New York, New Rochelle. Yeah, the general lack of, like it seems like, like with Heavy Hall and a couple, like GW and stuff, it looked like they tried future proofing. But, in some ways not, like the London Underground actually doesn't have portals on either end of it. But the signals work. Most of them. Show you what console set path the set path route does. What do you think stopped them from being able to merge them? Personal opinion, timetable. There's already a massive amount of the amount of services between. Long Island Railroad and NEC we'd be lucky if V1 Dispatcher could handle that at all even V2 plus they'd be giving a route away that they'd have to charge more than 40, 30 bucks for because you'd be getting the Jeep 38-2 if you didn't especially if you're on console you'd be getting that but as a new engine you'd be getting that you'd be getting the AC64 and AM fleets and you'd be getting the M7. You'd be getting three trains, and oh, a, nuts. way more. Yep. Well, just jumping in for a moment. Uh, just let you know, just gonna let you know uh, Connor, so you saw what I messaged you, right? Yeah, the thing yeah, and I, I relayed the message. I turned into a mini podcast when I, uh, with Master Key, uh, Searchlight, and the guy himself. Wait, uh -huh. they're having a mini podcast over on AT? Yeah, having a mini podcast it's right now on uh, on the AT stream. Oh, it's a stream. Where is that at? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I am mapping out on stream a little bit of uh, Tease Valley signals, which are not as horrible as you would... There's, if there's one thing I will give Dovetail full credit for that I like, that had genuine effort, the semaphores on Tease Valley. Yeah, have they, those. They creep, <laughs> they, they are slow, they actually have genuine movements that make it look like they were built in the 1920s. And most importantly, they take a really long time to change, meaning you can spad if you're me using console commands on the fly. Alright, and I will jump that now because I have to get ready. Alright, I'll take a look at so that. See ya. See ya. I mean, I think service mode is what stopped them, but I think because they could have given us three trains. They did it with GWE, but it was a shorter route. I think the dispatcher physically wouldn't have been able to handle it, and they were like, well, shh. It. So we had to, they had to break the route up. Because I think they, the thing is, Dovetail I think was way too sure of certain things. Like they were so sure that Simugraph was how it works, but real simulators don't use lookup tables, which Dovetail doesn't use. Like it's calculating the diff, the amperage between all four different traction modes instead of taking it once and multiplying it by four. Like, all right, so I'll show you what we gotta do. While I wait for the graphics to load in, I need to turn off my display for a sec so I can grab a message from Discord about how to make the path. So I'll show you the... I'll show you the display, the console command that I put in. Yeah, I was saying on Discord the other day, Cinegraph is the weakest point in optimization. I was pulling a 57 car train with six locomotives on my open those streams last week. And I couldn't get above, I could barely get to 20 FPS because it was calculating everything. I pulled a 150 car freight train and run 8, still got close to 30 FPS. But with run 8, I actually get wheel slip. Well, we kind of do. We do get wheel slip, we, the, and sand actually does work, but there's no uh, wet rail in, uh, system, but adhesion is there. Okay. So I'm going to put in the command, I'm going to leave it here on screen so people can see it. So all those signals you see that are changing right now are different AI trains, and the fact that there's one that says PM3 means it's a train that just went in a portal. Isn't it? PM3 should be in a pro... Uh, yeah, there's an AI train coming. Something just left a portal? There should be one on his way down. Which is why I should also see a PM something else listed as stopped. We have 7055, 734. Okay. So here's the full command that I put in. TS2.signals.setPathRoute Cumberland Classification of train is Freight uh, My train symbol is X592 I want you to watch this console when I hit enter Every single one of those signals is under my control This just made sure that I have as much of a path as I want to get all the way down there.
it has me lined the entire way down. Is that the classification of train symbol, all part of the train ID in TSW? Well, freight and passenger, I think, is just defined by the, the formation. Um, I think it's defi defined in the formation file, and CSX, there's nothing different. I don't know why they gave this for us. Um, I want that bell to stop. I'm going to remove it one of these days. Simply put, every single signal is now I'm wrong roading all the way to Cumberland as long as the game can, will let me. Because the game wants to put a path between me and that station. I don't know why the station name is just called Cumberland and not Cumberland Station or something. I don't know why that's the only name. But it's the only station track in the entire route, so. Which also means that an AI and a passenger train would stop there if set up on a timetable. Which means Muff could make a single stop Capital Corridor if he wanted to. The X-592 is defined by the service itself, not by the formation. There are formations for specific train symbols. Like, G255 is, a, is the formation used for any grain train, AI train. But, like, X592, I don't think is listed as that in the files. I think it's just, like, G40 and three hoppers or something, but then it's been given a new service name. We are going to derail it. In fact, let me just turn on that derailment uh, thing. The game, this is the commands that don't work. You say the issue is that it can't have spaces in the destination name? Yep. That's exactly why I've looked in the log to see what it complains about. No, it's if I typed in um, Atlantic Terminal and I was at like um, Hicksville on like Long Island Railroad, it, if I tried, tried to type in Atlantic Terminal track, that was underwhelming. Use it for a screenshot competition. Is there any train coming up to me at that time? Is that the whole tr what is that? I was chasing something. Destinations thing is all screwed up. It says it wants, it doesn't need spaces, but like, it doesn't want spaces. But the problem is most of the track names and the track titles. Uh, but spaces. Are the internal location names not visible 
in any of the game files, like with the signals. I tried looking. Um, Like, are the internal location names not visible in any of the game files, like with signals? Is it like PS1 where track names have an internal and external name? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, that's the thing. In fact, let me explore the game files just slightly. Placeholder route selection button, what? Icon is this. I'm trying to get you model to show up. This is trying to get it to load. Let's take a look at something. Okay, I don't know what U model is doing, but it's not running. I feel like it's absolutely frozen itself. Yeah, the whole PC is frozen. Something holding up the, the CPU. Let me go to slideshow. The whole PC is locked up. There's something holding back Windows. I don't know what it is, but everything's gonna happen all at once pretty shortly. Task manager's taking forever to start, though. Stand by, folks. Oh my god, it took that long. I don't know what was holding it up. Something had locked down the entire PC. 
No, now I don't want to run new model because now I don't need it. Okay, there's the sand patch placeholder. The old thumbnail. Micro mirror material. The thing is, I don't understand what mirror. Because mirrors don't work. Double AC manifest. When in the hell was that ever used? Landscape material, maybe? I don't think so. This is the simple mesh. Oh, yeah. Map overlay. Route lock plus transparent. Huh. be great if we could edit that so it actually had useful stuff on it. Maybe it's got to be in rail network. This is where I looked the other day but I wasn't sure. Track? Default track sound asset. Track diorama which isn't even used anymore. Or maybe it is. Track bridge, track main, track one tunnel, track yard. Doesn't look like there's a lot to the rules though. Uh, multiple junction levers. What's the material? Oh, cool. Materials, ballast. What's the ballast look like? Oh, I kind of might want to fix that up. Track ballast. Oh, these should be some good reskins. I think someone made upgraded track with Nick Hawk, and I don't know what happened to it. Concrete. I'll look for the speed limit in a moment. Noise 6464. Why is that a thing? Track ballast. And that's where the track ends. Oh, the track impost. Oh, God, that stuff. That's the thing Nick Hawk was trying to get rid of. Speed limit signs. I'm trying to find blueprints. Mile posts. Level crossings. Blueprints. There's two different kinds of crossings. The link between them. That's the stuff that causes all those issues. 
Flashing light, flashing light, no flash. Gantries. Signals. Signal visibility. Now we could edit this. Lens flare. There's ones for different colors. If we adjust these, we might be able to make signals easier to see. Flat face, lens flare. Rail signal lens flare, there we go. Let me make sure my chat is open. Oh god, I have to log in again. So any comments that were on the stream I've just lost. Great. Great. Whatever was just commented in the past five minutes, please repeat it. Because I can't see it. So what are you guys doing? Getting in trouble. Oh, there we go. I can see it on YouTube, it looks like. Princess, did you give me... Oh, I didn't realize Muffet commented. It didn't show it. Train to ZZ. DWE got normal timetable on consoles. You just need to load some journey first from journey mode and then return back into timetable mode and you'll have the normal PC timetable. Yeah, I know that. SC44 is on stand patch. Locations seem to have a string of letters and numbers associated with them. Yeah, they do. And in theory, if I can figure out what that string... Actually, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up, Draftsman, because I think I might have... That might be the key. That might very well be the key. It's nothing... Is there nothing in the timetables? Must be referenced there. Let's take a look. I was just deciding to look through some things. Also, I just wanted to point out the fact that... Where do they... Uh, Baltimore and Ohio signals color position. I could have sworn there was some file in this game that called a signal head Pennsylvania Railroad. Oh, there's all the aspects. There's all their signal data. Slow clear. Oh, Schlick would die if he saw what was going on in these. Uh, turn tablets. No. Transfer points. Oh, full order of fuel points. We don't want that. It would be... It could be in the timetable, but it would also be in the track tiles, which is why um, I'm going to do a funky thing right now. kind of controversial, but I think it can make it work. Gonna need this livery. Also, I'll, well, I guess I'll just call you Trains from ZZ from here. ZZ, thanks for joining in. It's gonna be a damn shame to see it go for, uh... Alright. There's my... Ghost, there it is. My work in progress. All right, so now what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna export a tile from another part of the route. Uh, and we're going to make this train go not to Jamaica, but to like hillside or something. And it's going to line me all those signals, or the dispatcher is going to kick me in the teeth. And but it seems like it overrides most of the dispatcher requests, so you know I shouldn't have a lot of issues. Yeah, it says a string of letters and numbers associated with them. I think that's the actual ID, and I feel like it's an easy command link that. Uh, 
Okay, the restream chat is up, it looks like. I hate that it, like, was, like, disappearing. Well, that phone's got barely any battery, so... Well, both my phones barely have any battery, great. Let me go look at the Twitch one and see if there's anything, because this doesn't capture new streams. Let's get this loaded. This is the agonizing part about TSW is getting everything loaded. different direction because I don't care. I might have just crashed the game though. I don't think so, but it's, yep. Nope. It's probably crashed. We gotta wait. The favorite part about TSW is the amount of waiting you have to do. Just waiting now. Literally just, you're just gonna sit here now. At some point, TSW might unfreeze. But we're not really certain. You see, it could unfreeze, but there's a very slim chance of that. Meaning there's going to be 10 more minutes before, yep. Thank you. I understand it's a dev build, but can we, uh... Can we get an F in the chat for Dovetail Games? Let me get the game running again. Oh my goodness. Does it still think I'm playing it? No. Yeah, it just literally gave... Well, that was great. This is why you can't use the dev build too often. The thing... Like, here's the thing. There are great people at Dovetail Games, I'm sure. They're, like, art-wise, art, art there's, like... The game looks... There's times where the game looks beautiful. If I'm being quite honest. But the fact of the matter is there's you can have as much beauty in the world as you want. But you know also I'm gonna make this load screen for you guys later. I'll port it over. It it'll take like ten minutes to make. I just export it and then convert it to replace the dovetail logo and then test it and then release it. Cause I think it looks a lot 
I don't want to shut down the Dovetail logo, but I think it looks just a lot slicker, and it's easier on the eyes at night. Do not trespass on railway property. I don't care. I just need to go back to Long Island Garbage Box. Okay, when I click on the M3, the entire game freezes. Which demonstrates to me that the M3 is doing a lot more to the game than it should. I know this is the dev build and wasn't really designed for the M3 because it came out before it, but it really, really doesn't like it. I just want to do Belmont Park for like the Humple Stumple, whatever the heck it is, that's like right around the corner. It's your garbage. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings, Joey? Dovetail goes a bit naff. Looks like a Chinese lead. <laughs> well, I had to make it so that it was gray. I had to invert the color so it was. It's a gray background with white lettering for Dovetail games because it was so bright at night that I had to look away from my screen while it was on because it was blinding. Um, and that mod is out, but I don't think I put it in any popular place. I should put that out there. That's the problem. A lot of my mods are like on Discord or like on the train some corner and people are like, well, why don't you put some of your mods in there? Because they're involved me writing a readme, doing the screenshots, and then having to put it on another site, which would take time. Burned retinas. You think how many burned retinas you'll prevent. Yeah. Yeah, I need to send it out. I could put it on RWA. I could probably put it on. Uh, everyone says railsim.de is good to go. I was like, why? They were like, you should put your, your American stuff there, Gary. I was like, why? It's a German forum. What sort of people am I going to try? Ah, uh, yes. GATX and UTLX are well known in Germany. Oh well, yes, of course, the Deutsche Bahn rail fans will know what an MP15 DC switcher is and why it has an Amtrak live like <laughs> Well the TSC Steven Jam is taken care of. I mean I have like thirty mods on I have a lot of mods on there now. More, more than at RWA, I only put like five mods on. What do you think was like my center beams, my spelling fix, which really I shouldn't have released because it doesn't allow you to. Okay, we have loaded in. Well, I gotta, I gotta do a really important thing with this. It's my favorite thing to do in this M3 is. Where is it? There. So I don't have to hear that damn HVAC. It means the train doesn't move, but I don't care. Okay, let me use show flag. I gotta get rid of this motion blur. Also, the M3 takes up a lot more processing power than one would think. It takes up an incredible amount of, of CPU to run. So I'm gonna go gather a signal ID, or a, a, a track ID. And we're gonna try and line a path to it. Uh, uh oh. 
This is what happens when you go too fast. Where are we at? Bella Rose. Which track is which? We want track two. So what tile are we on? I don't know, let's take a look. X9, Y15. So we're gonna go to U, uh, U model. Long Island Railroad, content, map, tiles. Scroll all the way down. It was X9, Y15. Oh, it's X negative 9, I mean X9. Which is at the bottom of the list. You can see all the files I've ripped out with all those folders. Wait, Bellrose Platform. Bellrose Platform 2. String of numbers. Copy. Do you still want to give up control? No, I would like to have the service. What we gotta do is we gotta run back now. So we can get in the train. Or we can just hit control zero. Oh wait, I'm too far away. This in theory should work. There we go. Now remember, they don't support modding for whatever fucking reason. Yeah, uh, it's nice that they don't support modding, yeah. Don't worry, you're just sitting here like, haha, you fool. Yeah, just watch. I'm, I'm gonna have converted, like, all of my stuff to, like, 4.23.1. All of my mods, like, Dovetail Games form is just gonna, like, there's gonna be a forum post. Like, on August 6th, it's gonna go, Here's your 50 mods, Dovetail. <laughs> this is gonna be all of my stuff for Heavy Hall. And, like, for like heavy haul, it's just gonna be like, here you go, enjoy all your American content. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try and, so I need to change the, the last two words. So it needs to be passenger and 4011, and then let's change Cumberland to that big number. Oh, excuse me? I said. I... What? That should have worked. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to be 50, but, like, I, because I think I've made close to, like, I think I counted all my pack files. I've maybe got, like, 60 mods I've done, which I still can't believe myself. This is, like, counting everything, like, including stuff that hasn't been released. Oh, I have to do that stupid thing where I power on the loud noise. Okay. Uh, 
let's let's try that idea again. Can, can, we, can we try that dovetail? Like, just just please, please, just let. Just, I want to just move the train. changing points. Oh wait, this is a hand throw. Hold on. Still should be throwing it, but... That should work. I mean, yes, I can just manually manipulate the signals, but I shouldn't have to. Something's up. Come on, give me what I need. Uh, Alright, let's try Bell Rose. Because watch, it's going to say Bell Rose is invalid when I go to look at the log. There are multiple Bell Rose platforms. Hold on a sec. I gotta think about something. Oh, crap. Alright, the word plat. Does that show up multiple times? Let me guess, three times. What about Bell? Three times? Oh my god! What do you want from me, Dovetail? What am I supposed to put there? Like, and uh, let, me, let me, I'm pretty sure the track that I am leaving out of, yeah, that can go to Blel Ruse. I don't care, when something's coming in, but that doesn't matter. Just, I want to, why? Hi, Bam Bam. My day's been going all right. I don't know what it wants. Well, I got I gotta um, go to the logs folder and see what the game thinks because what it's doing right now is driving me insane well Cumberland suggests it wants a name yeah that's the problem it wants a welcome to your own personalized hell yeah I have Metro North on here so I'm also breaking multiple 
Oh, New York Freight Signal, New York Foundation Signal Model Code Break. I don't care what the code break wanted. I just, I would like to, a level of detail manager. Why the hell is the LOD constantly switching on the, M, on the M3? It shouldn't be. Service 772, door lock state. Just the fact that the doors are, okay. Door lock state zero, okay. I'm gonna go look for expected or found is the word I want to look for found driver can't why MNR okay Console set path route error. Cannot find destination. No player train or not enough destinations. What the hell do you... What do you want as a destination? I know Cumberland suggests it wants a name, but... I'm gonna go check something really quick. Let me fire up text crawler. I have an unpacked version of the dev build of the heavy haul dev pack. And I'm gonna make it search for the word just, just Cumberland. Nothing, nothing else around it. Exactly the word Cumberland with space, without any spaces around it. And I'm gonna have it search for UEXP files. So... Whole world words empty, ignore white space, Cumberland. And we're going to look in UEXPs. And it's going to check the entire heavy haul, all 13 gigs. Have you tried with underscores? I did once. It didn't seem to work. Releasing route signal route zero on signal for yell because service four thirteen has finished. Cannot find destination Bell Rose. Let's just try taking Bell Rose platform two. Spitting that out into a text editor. Adding underscores. I don't think it's gonna work, but it, it I, I, I swear I've tried this already. Nope. Doesn't work. I've got to finish this Metro North skin soon. Wait, why do those have the M's? Those should have my sound mod. Oh, they don't because they didn't load it. That's right. Specific. What about just Bella? Ro I thought I tried Bella Rose, but let me. The thing is, though, Cumberland was just one platform. Let me try. Uh. No. Bella Rose underscore platform. 
Like, I, I genuinely don't know what it wants at this point. Like, B, L, yeah. Okay, the, the blue, it's got... Wait a second. This is a blueprint. Save package. Blueprint station Belarus 01. Save package. Those might have the destination names. How's text crawler making out? Cumberland, Cumberland to Shaw Mine, Cumberland Yard West. Uh, San Patch Grade Definition, Cumberland Turntable, Cumberland Fuel Stand, Cumberland Yard Car Shop. There's one that should just literally say in Cumberland, which has what looks like an ID. With its San Patch Grade Definition. Somebody just found it. I might just found it. Hold tight. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some digging. Long on railroad. Content. Scenery. Stations. Bellrose. Blueprints. Let's look at the UEXP. I gotta pause the game. It's killing my CPU. Uh, this has got listings for the AI controller for passengers. Uh, I don't see anything that says Bell, though. Yeah, okay, so that was the UXP. Let's try the U Asset. Don't think there's anything in there, cause it, but it's worth a shot. Uh, sound cues, scripted class, I, hold on, it might be in here. Bella Rose, Bella Rose Platform 1, Platform 2. Wait, there's a thing that says right there, station name. Something, 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 K. Alright, let's try that RT and just see if that strange set of characters for some reason does it. Variables that I would need to be able to read, and I think only Muff knows how to read them. Oh my god, come on. That is just linked to the models. I don't know, I'm just trying to... If you know where the station names are, Muff, for the cap lining, I would really like to know. Cut to the special decide which subtract to put you on. So the track sacrifice for vote in the name of DPG. Not yet. Still in Delma. Yeah, I've tied down the train because I want to get a clear signal through this. I'm, so I'm not moving from Belmont because it destroys the whole point of me sitting here. Um, so if it's not the blueprints, then the route definition would have data. I gotta just remember where that is. 
Hunter's Point Avenue 10 underscore Bellarose. No, what? I'm gonna die if this is what it, what it is. Yeah. Sorry, I was away. All right, let's see. I think it was 10. This for Bella Rose. No. I don't know what it's looking for. Muff, maybe you... Someone has to know. The problem is I can't just go to DTG because they won't tell me. I would go to DTG, but uh, you know, it's just not going to happen. I don't know who's calling me right now? So I'll call him in a moment. Well, I actually have to answer this Be right back.
Alright, I'm back partially, I just have to do something. Hello there, Yuri. No. Yes. I'll be right back. Hey. No. You cats are really weird.
for those on the stream, don't go away. I'll be back in a minute. I have to take care of some important things. Back, guys. six people watching, so obviously I'm doing something okay. Alright, my thing is here. We're going to take a look through the files again. Uh, 
if I can remember where to look. I'm like kind of out of it right now. I'm gonna get another phone call shortly, so. Uh, station. Where was I even looking? God damn it, now that I've got distracted, now I have no idea where to look. Uh, it was over here. Um. Long Island, uh, Let's take a look at LAR definition. It's a small file, but it seems to contain data. Well, that was a stupid sentence. It all contains data, but... Um, West Side Yard, Westbury, Woodside, Stewart Manor, uh, Strand Avenue, Mini. Can we just try Miniola? Maybe it doesn't work when I'm already in control of a service that is underway. Thing. See? Mm -hmm. what? There? Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Uh. okay. Yeah, this is Sher This is Sherlock Holmes level 10. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't think of a single thing that would, would... I think we're just gonna have to give up. I genuinely don't know what this station name is supposed to be. There's literally next to no... I mean, Hillside Maintenance, Hollis, Hicksville... Maybe Hollis? I'm trying to think of a station that has only one platform. What about the model names? They have to be spaceless for syntax purposes. Yeah. Destination Hollis doesn't exist. Error, no player train or not enough destinations. How many fucking destinations does it have to have? I'm putting it in the appropriate syntax. I'm trained 4011. Or do I have to put it in stupid brackets? That's the reason they use the same name for the models as the dispatcher uses. You would think, you would think, but uh, that doesn't seem to be making much sense to them. Yeah, it's something with, I, I think we're just screwed.
Because I'm looking through the IDs here, and it shows. Hold on, I look at this. Manila, Myersdale, Keystone, Nance. Is there one that literally just says Cumberland? No, it says Cumberland Station. Because there's only four, f there's, well, there's files that mention it, but most of them are like subtitles. Yeah, and in a helping hand, I, this timetable folder, I see it mentioned Cumberland Station. Do you think it would be Belmont to Belrose? Mm -hmm. No idea. Let's see. Yeah, I, we might have to stop the stream. I genuinely don't know what it wants. through the log again because it's going to say that the, the syntax is wrong. It says not even Belmont exists. Expected freighter passenger found Belrose. take a couple couple weeks for us to figure out. We need more people. I don't know, Didi, if you want to see if anyone else in the TSC wants to help with this, because there is no way I'm going to figure this out right now. I have... What's the... The issue is we're trying to get a console command called set path route, where you point it to towards the station. It just lines all of the signals to the to directly to you. We have no idea why that's not working. It worked fine on Cumberland, but there's only one station.
Uh, I'll have an experiment, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think of any other commands that I can show off that need to be explained, because this video turned from exactly what I want it to be to kind of having to fake find things. Test friction. Toggle driver permission. Test signal tables match get Test signal table match get next track select. What does that do? Try set and lock junctions for service. I'm gonna try something. What did you type for the Cumberland one? I literally just typed Cumberland. The, the command that I used should be in the modding channel. It was literally just, uh, I'll show it on stream if I can make it show up. Uh, I made it use this one right here. TS2.signals.set path route Cumberland Freight X592. What you do is you spawn in at Rockwood at like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. and you go grab the unit that's in the middle of the Rockwood Y and then you get it, control of that and then you use that command. And it should give you signals all the way to Cumberland Station. Problem is we can't get it to work with any of the other routes. Trying to think. I was just actually about to do those aspects, so. I need a place that has a lot of what I need. So 
scenarios. Yes. Switch back, which I selected, but it's not running. There we go. How does plural sections are set over an written aspect? I think you have to put a signal ID in front of them. I haven't done that yet, but I think that's what you do. I think you would do like set over an aspect 2196 2 slow clear or something. And it would force a certain aspect on that signal, even if it couldn't do it. Because, see, I showed you the BS at Yoda, right? Uh, oh, the thing about the... The Yoda signal that's supposed to only sh display restricting? Yeah. It gives you, like, a slow clear? Yeah. Or the restricting that's actually a maximum authorized cl track speed clear to fucking coal branch. Also, I found another fun thing about the dev build. From last night. Yeah. Um, you know the slow speed control on the 4400s? The like GE slow speed know. control? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it didn't work. I turned it on, I set it to 2.5 miles an hour, and I, the engine was going up to 7. It just didn't do a thing. Now I just realized why the dispatcher locks junctions, three junctions ahead of a train, an AI train. Because if it doesn't, you could throw the switch in front of the AI train and derail it, and I don't think the AI knows how to handle a derailment. When you crash into it, it does, but... Uh, yeah, so clear all sections and set over an aspect are gonna be... This has been a long stream. It's been over four hours. Worth it, though. I mean, we're gonna have a dinner for like another hour or so. At best. And then that gives me time to destupidify the Oakville Guide. Not work on the Class 20 because I don't want to look for windows for 17 hours. It's probably somewhere, like, really stupid. And then you make, ah, oh, yes, you know. We only it wanted, had to map the class 20 once. You know, I haven't actually done a service with the heavy freight pack yet. I did one scenario, but the problem is if you load a save game with that scenario it destroys the class 40 See how this works. Come on, load me in the game, please. Yeah, if AI run ends up on the wrong path, that has no clue. Oh boy, my favorite part about Cumberland Switchback is the frame rate or lack thereof. All the corrupt units that have no sound are the ones that I'm... Alright, let's go look at a signal. But we need to be running at... 
Jesus the Hedgehog speeds. Alright, let's pull out my handy dandy, where the hell is it, notebook, I mean guide, and find where the hell, I think it was 1769-1, hold on, is that what this is? There we go. There we go. I'm back. Wait a minute, when did you get here? Uh, what I just tried doing, I might have just... Why did that freeze the game? Why did that freeze the game? I've been here the entire time. I just left a few minutes ago to go talk with a uh, CJ and uh, with CJ and uh, the old and cold train. I'm going to see if the path setting works in WSR where it has some. I was thinking of that actually. Uh, just make, sh just be careful. I can't tell you. I'll tell you one hint. Draftsman, I haven't documented very much, but uh, the signals at Minehead are all MH. There's like MH1, MH2, MH4, MH7. There's an MH19 and MH21 on the main line, but most of them are MH1, MH3, MH4, MH5, MH7, and I think MH9. Use those to get around Minehead. Alright, I tried giving a slow clear to a signal that shouldn't have it, and the game froze. Excuse me, no. My entire PC froze. What is the game... What is it, trying to call NASA? Uh... Alright, let's get this devlog up and see what it's screaming about, because it clearly has some big... What the hell? String asset reference slow clear is in short form, which is unsupported, and even if valid, resolving it will be really slow. Please, re please consider resaving package in order to speed up loading. Search for a package on disk took 16 seconds to resolve slow clear. Oh, because I didn't put it in the stupid alias? Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. I think I have to... Are you serious? Okay, let's see what it complains about now when I put it in proper form. Cheers. Okay. You failed to find object, object none dot sent. Let's just print it out without any tech, without any values, and see what it gives us. The cat, too. Tiger, come here. I think I've been food today. Okay, I need to find that log file. Okay. Um. The search for package on disk took a long time to do slow clear. Okay, that's all well and good, but I. Then I tried to make it happen again, and the thing is not doing the thing.
Draftsman, you there? I've got a new new thing for you. Wait, Cumberland Station X X X fifteen, and it worked. Oh, X one five. All right, I've got something for you. So I'm looking at the console occupying section command it says ts2 warning console occupy section not enough arguments expects signal name and section ix i don't know how to view sections is the problem i guess but having a signal is part of it you know what Put in a one. Draftsman, if you've got a signal that works, put in the ID, and then put a, put a, the occupy section thing. Put in the ID and put a one, and watch the signal drop to one. And if you hit clear section, it clears it. Yeah, that'll be track section. I just typed in one and it worked. So I think it's either track one or track two. I don't know. You don't even add, need to add the extra thing. You can just write Cumberland Station. I just wrote Cumberland and it worked. Not even Cumberland Station. So we can occupy a section even if we don't want to. Oh my god, you know what this means? This this occupy section thing is how you set signals back to red. You can have multiple sections. So if you have route one to five, then six will return the signal to red. Can you put them by setting them to red by setting the last route? Not as far as I know. Negative one might work though. No, not negative one.
You can tr set a signal to red if you try to set two signals that are right next to each other off. Try to set a route between them because it's physically impossible. Let me try some more commands. The override aspect thing, I have no idea what that is. Clear overridden aspect. So section IX0 is on clear signal section 1769-2, signal whatever, unoccupied. Request the path to danger that, that command revokes the permission. Yeah, I mean, you could probably use it to override uh, the no route available thing. Because when it says no route available, what it means is the route that is currently there is listed as occupied. I mean, you could probably cheat in certain scenarios if you did certain things. The thing is, a signal has to have a route set in the first place. Uh, clear all sections. Okay, hold on. Occupy section 1769-2. Uh, uh, I gotta actually light the signal first. If you hit clear all sec, if you set up, I set up sections zero, one, and two um, on a signal using the occupy section. I did occupy section zero, section one, and section two. Then I hit clear all sections, and it cleared the signal. through these again test performance
the wind manager. Trying to get this to work. Let me see. Set pass route. Set pass. Rec oh, I had to go ch open the log again. Is what I was trying to do. It was like in a fog. Pass request status has something, draftsman. I can't even get the patching to work even on HH, the pathing to work even on HH. Also, why did you type Cumberland Yard? Was it in the files or yes? Cumberland? I just typed Cumberland because it was the only station. I tried Cumberland Station, but then the next time I just tried the word Cumberland and it worked. It was through guessing. It, I, there was only one station on the route, technically, that was considered passenger. Like, in, as in, all right, so console set pass request status. Not enough arguments, expects signal name and path request status. So I guess two or, or zero. Let me try this. I go to the main menu, get in a train. Thanks for the compliment, Morgan. Probably isn't gonna be too much more of this before I get into like off the stream, but uh, I am gonna try. Actually, that's enough. I'll probably do post more findings in Discord and then I'll make a video about them later when it's more concise. Anyways, I think that's going to be enough for this stream. This has been Yuri, or my Yuri, depending on wherever you are. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you've learned a lot about how to deal with console commands, manipulating trains and world signals, and just about 
modifying trains and mobile console commands in general. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'm still going to be supporting TSW1 full throttle, even when TSW2 comes out. I'm not giving up on all my hard work. I'm not throwing it away. Not for anyone. Anyways, uh, see y'all later.